Yo guys, so if you're just tuning in, thank you for another wonderful episode of USC2. I'll be using Stefan Struve for a majority of the fights. It's pretty late where I'm at, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Just gonna get a late night grind on. If you enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button, guys. I appreciate it. Check out our rank real quick. Rank number six in the whole world. We got some uh we got some work ahead of us. So let's get it. And guys, sorry about the last uh Irish episode, guys. At the very end my phone died. And I was a uh, note uh I wanna apologize to Conor McGregor because I know he watches a lot of my streams, guys, and uh I want to apologize to Conor McGregor because uh, it was an Irish edition. He wasn't even in the episode. My phone died at the very end. So I just want to apologize for that, guys. But, uh, you know, I love you guys. So we're going to be trying to uh, get our bonus points for sure. All right, we're just waiting for our opponent now. Yo, what up to anybody just tuning in, guys? Appreciate the love, as always. If you were playing Dying Light with me earlier, I apologize. My phone died, as always. Killed the stream. Drop a comment. Let me know who's chilling. He will have a 7-inch reach advantage. And now with our official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. I will be using Stephen Shrove, guys. A Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 8 losses. He stands 7 feet tall. Kane Velasquez, Stephen Shrove. You ready? Here we go. Our fight tonight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Black trunks for Strew. White trunks for Velasquez. Kane lands takedowns at a very high efficiency. And for Kane, he does what he does. He comes at you and he never stops. Yeah, he's a machine. Nice knee. All right, guys, we're fighting hair soap. Check that one. Nice so my opponent's throwing a lot of leg kicks, trying to disguise it with a head kick. He's doing a lot of clinching. He's looking to come forward, so I'm going to counter. Just uh, really try to win by decision for now until he opens up a little bit more. Trying to trip me. Perfect. Watch the knee. Boom. Okay. He wants to suck it. I don't blame him, bro. He's a tall motherfucker. Let's go. He lands a clean combination. He's not guarding his body. Great straight by Velasquez. He's doing a good job of throwing punches and kicks from all angles here. Really doing a great job of mixing things up. Oh, did he stop there we go. Kick. Now we're winning the round, guys. Big kick. We're going to watch the clinch mainly. Watch his leg kicks. He's trying to trip me. 
What I just realized about the game, guys, is that leg kick can distract you from the clinch. You know, you're looking low. But practice your no flinch drills, guys. And that will get you better at defending the clinch as you practice a no flinch drill. Shout out to Boz Root. Go check out his video. It's called a no flinch drill. And what you want to do is don't flinch. Don't let your stamina drain because your opponent can fake you, then he can grab you. Solid straight left. Powerful jab. There's a nice combination. Body kick, look at that. So I'm just going to keep my distance. Keep my range. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. Perfect. 45 seconds. Thirty seconds now remain in this round. So the only thing he's doing so far in the clinch is he's throwing a knee. He's trying to prevent me from transitioning. It's nothing I've never seen before. He keeps going to the clinch, he's gonna get fucked up. So my opponent actually quit. He rage quit. He realized uh, I'm in a whole nother zone tonight. And the joke, I'm looking forward to fighting you, man. See you in rank championship zone. Yo, bro, go. You want to get a little rivals going or what, man? You want to get a quick white rivals? Or do you want a cookie? <laughs> Excuse me. Yo, shout out to anybody coming in the stream, guys. Appreciate the love as always. Today we're going to be using Step is True as much as possible. There's 3,000 people online, so it is going to take a little bit longer to get fights. Hi, Bob. Hey, Bobby. I'll tell you what, Goat. This is what I'm going to do for you, Goat, because you're a good guy, man. I heard you're pretty good, bro, through the grapevine. So this is what I'm going to do for you, bro. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull out my Palm Pilot. I'm going to check my schedule. I'm going to see what I can set. I'm going to see if I can set something on, buddy. If I can make time for you, bro, I'm going to hit you up in Rivals, and we can throw them hands, bro. We can throw those feet. We can throw those clinches, those takedowns, whatever you want to do, buddy. I'm going to check my Palm Pilot. I'm going to make room on the schedule. I'm going to give you a shout, all right, man? Don't go running when I call you out, all right, buddy? I love you. Remember I show you wrestling? Remember I show you wrestling, goat? I love you. I show you something now. I love you, goat. I show you, goat. I love you, baby. Sounds groovy, baby, yeah. Groovy, baby, yeah. All the way, no Coming need to clean it, go to the ground. It's a featherweight matchup <laughs> between Connor, Notorious McGregor, and Connor McGregor. <laughs> Nigga, the at uh, UFC, the bro. I love you. Featherweight fight. Both of <laughs> I just beat her at her. I all stand up and lock them out. It ain't nothing to stand up. 
<laughs> Alright, bro. Hey, I don't gotta brag, bro. I never brag, bro. I never brag, never boast. Flying coast to coast. And here we go. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Alright, go. Conor McGregor has a very unpredictable striking style. Throws a lot of wild kicks. Has some excellent knockout power. So right now we're fighting Notorious UFC 2016. Wow, nice, Connor. So guys, I'm in the blue corner right now, guys. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Good head movement, nice slip. Excellent jab by McGregor. Good kick. Nice kick. Back and forth. He got a tag. Big time. Trying to stay out of trouble here. <laughs> oh, that's a heavy body kick. Zap, my stand up is amazing. I've been watching a lot of your streams. I love the way you fight. Thank you, Go. I'm just talking shit, Go. You know that. If you watch my streams, you know I'm just talking this shit, bro. Absolutely brutal kicks <coughs> by McGregor. For sure, Joe. Joe, we're seeing some nice work. He's really staying busy. Wow, Connor. McGregor with a good right kick to the midsection. There you go, Connor. There you go, baby. There you go, Connor. There you go, baby. Yeah, pussy. He's a pussy, guys. I don't know what's wrong with this guy, but. Oh, okay. I see him now. This guy's a hacker. Oh, my God. This guy's a hacker, guys. <laughs> Hacking ass, motherfucker, guys. Look at this hacking motherfucker, guys. They're going to need to take a look at this one. Conor McGregor this shit is hilarious. Is not looking good. His eye is swelling shut. It's going to impede his peripheral vision. It's going to impede all of his vision at this point. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. And here's a devastating blow that almost ends this fight. This guy's a hacker, guys. The stunning Brittany Palmer. I love you. I love you. Nice, there you go, Connor. Now you're fighting. Oh, solid jab. 
Now you're fighting, buddy. Nice. McGregor gets caught by that right. Connor McGregor's got to be very pleased with his performance here tonight. He certainly has. So this Connor that I'm fighting now, I'm in the blue corner, guys. This guy pretty much already gave up. Uh, the game wouldn't let me knock him out. It's all good. Maybe the next fight will be a little bit better. A little more competition. But, uh... point of this fight. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the box. McGregor with the punch to connect. Just over two remain. And a nice one-two with the right and the left. That's a good kick to the body by McGregor. Nice strike. Big roundhouse kick. Solid punch by McGregor. So if you're just tuning in, guys, I'm the Connor in the blue corner. So many more options. I'm already winning the fight. If he keeps running, we're probably not even gonna press forward in the next round. Good inside leg kick. Matter of fact, I'm not coming forward at all the rest of the fight. So it's already game time, baby. It's red panty night, baby. Nice, there you go, Connor. There you go, Connor. <laughs> nice. Huge knockout victory. So all I had to do, bro, was just start pull countering that guy, cause. I was already winning. He overextended, but one, one uppercut, he's out. <sighs> so what's up, man? Who's all tuned in? Guys, drop a comment. Let me know who's here, guys. Show some love. Show some... Show some motherfucking love, guys. I think I am going to turn on the EA uh, game track here in just a second, guys. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the uh, EA Sports game track real quick. That guy was mad. Alright, so that guy was mad. Let's use, um... I definitely don't want to use anybody short because I don't feel like playing that stupid game. So we are going to use Uriah Hall. If you guys ever used Uriah Hall or if you don't ever use Uriah Hall, give him a chance, guys. He's a beast. He really is. He really fucking is, guys. Coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Yoel Romero and Uriah Hall. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Hall is 31. Romero is 38. Hall will have a six-inch reach advantage. And now with our official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is three rounds of the UFC. This should be a good fight, guys. This should be a good one. Romero, Uriah Hall. Right, you ready? You ready? Here we go. 
fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. Okay. Joel Romero's powerful suplex. Perfect. Perfect. Moves to half guard. Romero's got the full mount again. Half guard. Hammer fist by Romero. So why this guy brought me to the ground, we do not know, guys. Oh, he landed a right hand. We have no idea. And he's back up to his feet. Nicely done. Good kick. Nice jab. Big roundhouse kick. Nice inside leg kick. Wow, what a great job mixing things up. All right, this guy's really laggy, guys. Oh, nice body Really good. Shot. Roundhouse kick gets through. Oh. Good I'm impressed with this head. guy's lag. Oh. oh, powerful kicks. Wow. Very laggy, guys. Impressive. Very impressive, his clinch. I'm your right hall, guys, if you're just tuning in, by the way. Just I'm in the blue corner, as always. He's going to keep spamming a uh, clinch. Keep spamming he takedown. I'm going to keep my distance. He avoids. He's very laggy as well. So that's going to help him out. Anytime he makes a move, he likes to lag you out. When he misses, he likes to lag you. He's very impressive, guys. Again, he wants to clinch. Oh. This guy's very impressive. With the, jab. the huge head kick is blocked. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. Good straight by Paul. Nice, he bit. That's a big takedown. He bit on the fake, guys. Into the round, and that was a huge takedown that will score points. Easy money, easy money, guys. And a big knockdown from Uriah Hall. Yeah, that knock. Yo, guys, drop a comment. Let me know who's chilling. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Round two. Hall with the kick to the midsection. Nice knee. All right, so we got a spinch, a uh, clinch, spammer. Perfect, now guys. Switches his stance again. I'm gonna use my footwork on Joel just because uh, he Still is a wrestler. He's not gonna have as much uh, footwork as. Uh, Good hook from the clinch. Back and this is my guy. Joe, there we see our total strike. That's for sure. So, so it's all good. With the block. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Joe, if he doesn't start to defend these heavy head kicks, this fight could be over very soon. They got to help my opponent out with his lag shit. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to do anything. So it's all good, guys. It really is. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. Back up to his feet. There he goes. Now he's straight. Trying to get that clinch. Kick to the body. Hard straight punch. Oh, he's landing at will. Big kick. Suplex. 
All right, perfect, guys. Perfect. Try to hold him down for a minute, guys. Perfect. Nice grounding. Hole with the good right hand. Losing the half guard. Nicely done. Big punch from the top. Under two minutes now. Submission attempt. He hip escapes from the full mount. Good connection by Hall. Vicious ground. He's gonna butcher him up, guys. Romero with good work from the bottom. Jump back on him. He's back up to his feet. Nice job with the roundhouse. Oh, there beautiful combination. Nice jab. Joel Romero is continuing to punish that eye. Yes, he is. That's a good target for him. He sees the this guy's pretty impressive, guys. Man, he really turned on that inside leg kick. And he continues to mix up his strikes. And there's a nice straight by Hall. He's starting to land those kicks to the body. Joe, you're absolutely right. Those kicks to the body are just oh, serious. That's a big head kick. Big shots. Wow. What a nice. Get the finish of this nice. Joel Romero is thankful to still be in this fight after that round. He got cracked with some big shots before the bell. Yo, shout out to anybody who's uh, just tuning in. The lovely Jenny. If you're just tuning in, drop a comment, show some love, hit that like button. I'm in the blue corner as always. Last round, guys. You ready? I'm Uriah you Hall. Let's go for the minutes remain. Now, starting off this round, he might still This guy usually comes out with a clinch. He just tries to take down right away. Nice I've already won the fight, so I'm not gonna be too, I'm not gonna take too many chances. He fights off the cliff. There we go. He is in trouble. There we go, guys. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Talk about a fucking brawl! Talk about a fucking brawl, guys. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that fucking subscribe button, guys. Oh, my God. That was incredible. That was incredible. Wow. We were both rocked. We just went at it, dude. Toe to toe, blow to blow, bro. Oh, my God. Boom. And now here's. Wow. That was fun. That was fun. A lot of fun. This guy's crazy, man. He's number one bullshit, this guy here. Number one bullshit. So if y'all didn't know, I am number six in the whole world. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you like my videos. I'm number six in the whole world. By the time I get off, I'll be number four. Um, We're just going to keep grinding it out, having fun. That was a pretty good fucking KO, dude. I gotta admit myself. It was fun because I was rocked and he was rocked and we just went boom, boom, like rock him, sock him. I saw him overextend. He didn't realize he was rocked and he threw a punch. He overextended and I just da 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 da. Stole off on his dumb ass. So Stefan Struve is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fighters on the whole game, guys. He's just very tall. He can use his reach. He doesn't have a lot of knockout power, but he makes up for that in reach. Being able to win a lot of fights on uh, decisions. Coming up next, uh, can't believe none of you guys are a fool. That guy is. The take for this heavyweight collision. Struve is 28. Verdum is 38. Struve weighed in at 250. There we go. Let's get it on, guys. Let's get it on. Fabricio Verdum. Stefan Struve. Here we go. Fight scheduled for three fighting rounds. 
Okay. Nice. He's using his footwork. Trying to go to the clinch. Trying to clinch, guys. Nice. Good for him. Good for him. Perfect. Wow. This guy's good. This guy's real good, guys. Watch the full guard. Submission attempt. And we're up, guys. Let's go. We're winning the round now, guys. We're winning the round, guys. Let's keep it going. He's going to look for that clinch again, guys. Ah, I overextended there. Nice. Here we go, guys. I'm stepping through. Remember that. I got to turn the music on after this fight, guys. We're going to uh hit the EA bonus tracks and shit with the music on. Yo, if you're just tuning in, guys, I'm in the uh, blue corner. I am stepping through. Yo, appreciate the love, guys. Appreciate the love. Drop some comments, guys. I'm going to go turn on the EA Sports bonus tracks, guys, so I can fight to the music real quick. Let's go to customize. Turn the music up. Actually, I'm not in the mood for music. Yeah, I'm not in the mood for music, guys. Just gonna keep banging people up. Yeah, I'll be back, guys. I gotta take a piss. The Reem Overeem and the seven foot tall native of the Netherlands, Stefan Struve. All tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Struve is 28. Overeem. All right, guys, and we're back. He weighed in at 265. And we're back, guys. Let's have some fun. We'll have a four inch. Drop a comment, guys. Show some love. Let me know who's in the party. Introductions. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is. I love you guys. Alistair Overy, Stefan Strew. And here we go, the heavyweight belt is on the line. Five round fight. Alistair Overy is a highly decorated nice. striker. There we go, the best to ever compete in MMA, and one of his best weapons are his knee strikes. So, really, I'm just stepping through. Probably just gonna straight smash all my opponents. Not really in the mood for the chit chat today. I'm just gonna straight try to win at all costs. 
Yo, uh, appreciate the love, Seahawks. Appreciate the love, but yeah, dude. Earlier on Dying Light, bro, uh, my my cell phone died right when he joined the party, so uh, that sucks. It threw me off my rhythm. It made me not want to play games for a little bit, but now I'm back on. I'm feeling better. He's starting to land those kicks to the body. Joe, you're absolutely right. The kicks to the body, significant thus far. He's looking for the clinch. Big roundhouse kick. He continues to score with his strength. Nice. We're going we're gonna to knock the suit out here in just a minute, guys. Promise you. Joe, we're really starting to see the accumulation of those body shots and the damage done. Come on, pussy. Nice jab. Let's go, Alistair. I like how he mixes that up, Mike. I, I just think that's... It's, there's so many more options. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Come on, Alistair. Fucking Joe, that's pussy a good boy. slip of the right by over. Oh! Solid straight left. See that? I know he's not Hard blocking his body punch. right now, guys. He scores with a huge left. left. Yeah, he's definitely not blocking the body, guys. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. His body's wide open every single time. See that? He avoids the clinch again. Yo, uh, Seahawk Blue, do you play UFC, bro? Look at that, he's timing that jab. Where you from, man? Man, he connects with the right and the left. Shout out to my boy Seahawk nice Blue, man. I was just asking through. where he's from, if he plays UFC 2 and all that. He lands a hook from the clinch. And right into the Muay Thai clinch. And he pulls away. Strong jab by Overeem. So this guy is playing very patient right now. The round is almost coming to an end. We're gonna chill out and I guess take this round right here, guys. Joe, that's a solid leg kick by Strew. I know we're winning. Final seconds. You any good or what, bro? I play competitively on here. The other games are just for fun. This one I play competitively, bro. Like if I lose on here, I start crying and shit, bro. I fuck, I'm mad for real, for real, bro. Like dying light, that shit's all fun and games, bro. But if I catch a L on here, dude, Some it ain't gonna be good for nobody. Striking on display in that round, the stunning Brittany Palmer. Continue this championship fight, and so far so good for the top contender. He has worked so All right. long and hard for an opportunity. So he, he keeps trying to spam champion. these clinches. I think it's safe to say that he's not so blocking the body. The fight. And there's a nice straight by Overeem. A kick to the body. See, he's not blocking his body at all, guys. And on top of that, like I said, he keeps spamming these damn clinches. I'm getting better learning a lot here on stream. Yeah, so like, um, Stephen Struve's a really good guy to practice your distance, your range. He's a great fighter, guys. If you haven't used him already, try Stephen Struve. So in this situation, when your opponent backs up, you don't want to chase him too far into the cage because he'll just turn around. He can either trap you or you're just going to have to chase him all the way back down to, uh, to the other side Again, of the he ring. The clinch. He's doing a good job Yo, shout out to punches. my boy from Washington, bro. Oh. Um, you smoke a lot of, you smoke weed out there or what, bro? What is it like? Almost one o'clock where you're at? He's got the full mount, yo. So I'm guessing it's about one o'clock where you're at, bro. It's about to be three in the morning where I'm at, buddy. 
Nice job slipping the punch. Struve with the solid jab. So I'm gonna quit throwing as many combos until this guy decides to push forward a little bit more. You see that how he's running? He's able to block the punch. Both men scoring points here. Yeah, the combo I use, dude. The way that I set it up is by um So the way I set this combo up is I throw a left straight to a body kick. That's just to set the combo up. It's real easy to defend takedowns, defend clinches, even if you do do that. But um, under a minute now on the clock here in this round. This guy will stand up. I'll show you what I mean real quick. Forty-five. Okay, there's two things you can do here. You can either break his arm like this. And just start hacking at his arm and try to break his arm. Or you could throw some leg kicks right here, guys. Or just let him stand there, save your energy. Just let him sit there. You're winning the round. But the whole setup to that combo that you're talking about, bro, is you throw a left straight to a body kick. Left straight to a body kick. Once you can get that down, now you can switch it up. You can throw a left straight to the body head kick. You can throw a left straight to the face head kick. You can throw a left straight to the body body kick. Um, basically, as long as you start off with that left straight, you know, like left straight to the body, left straight to the head. Then you can do body kick, head kick, leg kick. You can start adding jabs into it. You can do and like a jab, straight, head angle. kick, jab, straight, body kick. Yo, what up, Grizzly? And as you're throwing these combos, you're basically Yo, reading your opponent's area. guard. So if he's blocking to the body, when you throw that uh, straight body kick, straight body kick, try to throw a straight head kick, straight head kick. And what that does is you'll be able to see him blocking low. Then you just go high. So straight body kick. Straight body kick. See what I'm saying? Now straight. But he's backing up, so that's why you don't throw too many combos on a guy backing up. It's all good. Just let him come to you, especially when you're winning the rounds. He's looking for a spam, spam clinch, spam takedown. Use your long range weapons here. Use your jab. Okay, body kick. I'm doing the same thing over and over, guys. I really am. Man, it's Muay Thai. See, straight head kick, straight body kick, straight head kick, straight head kick, straight body kick, straight head kick. And all you're doing is you're just mixing it up. You're going body head, body head. You're reading his guard as you're throwing the strikes. So if you miss a strike, just know where your opponent, you know what I mean? Just know where he was guarding. See? Same fucking combo every time, guys. I'm just starting it off in a different spot. Now there, I threw, I added the jab to it. And since I'm winning the round, I'm gonna kind of just uh, save my stamina right now, guys. Since I'm winning the round, it's a five rounder. I'm gonna let him come forward and try to unload on his body if I get a chance. Do some boxing. I mean, those are just my main combos. That's just my main combo. But I also do a lot of other stuff, like um, I throw a lot of leg kicks. Throw a lot of single shots, like that right there. If it's open, if it's open, I'll take it. You know what I mean? But also be aware of the clinch. Be aware of that takedown. And then my main combo is the straight kick, straight kick. Now, boom, boom, boom. Uppercuts. Now he's fucked, guys. Go to the body a little bit. Back to the head. Okay. He's going to keep... Let's go to Superman. Now his arm's broken. Okay. Fell for that. Can you play knockout mode after this? Um, well, I'm going to play knockout mode if they can't give me a fight, buddy. Like, uh, if I'm playing and they don't give me a fight, I'll play knockout mode. I got you, Grizzlies. 
See if we can finish this guy with 20 seconds left. Oh, nope. Not happening. I got you, Grizz. I'll do a knockout mode for you, boy. I got you, bro. I got you. Here's a nasty kick to the body. Did you check out my other uh, videos, that other knockout video mode? Amazing highlights from that round. I have a video uploaded to, uh, called knockout, knockout mode. I'll do it again though. Pretty much be the same thing. Gets a set for round number four. Bruce Lee said it best, guys. I don't fear the man who practiced 10,000 kicks. I fear the man who practiced one kick 10,000 times. And that's basically what I do. I'm practicing my same combos 10,000 times. I practice this straight. I practice this kick. I practice this kick. This kick. This, this, I practice all those punches 10,000 times, guys. It's nothing flashy. I know when to throw it, I know where to throw it. And that's what makes you a good fighter. You don't have to have all this flashiness to your fighting game, guys. Keep it simple. Practice your leg kicks. I've thrown that probably 100,000 times. And then, of course, you know, the grappling aspect, you're going to have to go do your work, guys. I can give you I can give you advice on your grappling, on your clinch. The truth is, you got to go create another account that you don't give a fuck about. And you got to work, guys. You got to work. You got to practice. You got to learn all that grappling shit. You got to become a black belt. It takes practice, guys. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. But uh, I can give you a few tips. Like if I grab him and I fake, I just saw his stamina bar drop, but he has the grappling advantage there. So uh, I won't actually be able to do anything in that situation, guys. It's all good. He has a grappling advantage. He knew how to use it. So in that situation, um, I have another tactic. But the main tactic would be just to stay away from the clinch as much as possible. And then if he go, if he gets there, we have a we have a game plan for that too. Nice jab, very snappy jab. Yo, UFC three is coming out. Um, I actually have the beta, guys. I might start the beta for you guys here in a minute. We're also gonna be doing a coin drop here in a minute. We're gonna be giving away ten thousand pesos, guys. So. Uh, shout out to anybody who subscribes. The next subscriber, guys. We're gonna. We're gonna bless your life, guys. We're gonna give you all 10,000 pesos. So hit that subscribe button, guys, if you want a chance to win. Looks like he's trying to get that anaconda choke in place. And he got his head out. UFC 3 comes out in the fall, my boy. Oh, nice. That's a solid punch by Strew. To over under control. Sprawl. Nice. So in here, I actually fucked up. I misread his stamina bar. No big deal. He only has 30 seconds to actually do something. He's working from side See right there, I just saw a stamina bar move, but he knows the grappling advantage. So like I said, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, but watch what I do now that I know he knows the grappling advantage and all that. It's real easy. Shout out to my boy Grizzly, bro. He's been with me since day one, bro. He would see a perfectly timed kick, connects flush. Much love to Grizzly Bear. And here's another clean shot that lands. What made you come up with the gamer tag or the username Grizzly? Is it because you dip? Don't tell me you use Grizzly Dip, buddy. I mean, if you do, no no offense, you know what I mean? If you're the CEO and owner or whatever, that's pretty cool. But, uh, it's weird. 
Let's go. <laughs> Alistair Overeem. Clinch specialist. He loves the clinch. He loves the clinch, guys. Watch as a clinch. If you're ever fighting this guy, uh, his name is The Lone Wolf. If you guys ever fight the lone wolf and he's using Alistair, watch out for his clinch, guys. Good job blocking the punch. Let's take a look at the striking accuracy for Stefan Struve. Landing 57% of his strikes. Doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. Closing the distance, he's got the clinch, Joe. Got the over under here. See, I just saw a stamina twitch. He's That's how I knew how to get him. Back up to his feet. Nice. Straight left to the body. Combination by the champion. His other eye is starting to swell bad. Good right left combo there. Now we're just picking this dude apart, guys. Look at that. Yeah, now we're picking this guy apart, guys. So I'm going to try to win by decision. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm not going to give him a chance to rock me, put me in a clinch, and fuck me up, if you know what I mean. So we're really going to just work the clock. Hopefully we get this decision win. No need to make a mistake. If he does overextend, I will take advantage of it. But uh, we're mainly going to look for this decision win really quick, guys. It's a minute and a half left. Precise jab by Overy. There's a body shot. There's a solid body shot. Okay. He's taking chances. Taking chances. One overhook, one underhook. See what we can do here, guys. And he's moved to his back. Nice defense okay. as he gets back to over under. Impressive. This guy's impressive. And beautiful All right, guys, we won the fight for sure. No big deal, we won. He's gonna go top mount. Kamora, he's out of time, guys. He's out of time, guys. Good game, my boy. Good game. I love y'all. Now, the judges will render their decision. And we'll find out who will leave with the belt. Round two. The decision. Sorry about that, guys. I accidentally unplugged the microphone and dropped my controller to unplug my headset. All right, let's get on to the next fight, guys. Let's check out my rankings. Let's see what rank I am in the whole world. Oh, what do you know? I'm number six in the whole world. Pretty impressive, guys. Let's try to keep on pushing, guys. Let's get these wins. Let's keep getting these wins, guys. Yo, shout out to anybody who's tuning in. If you enjoy the video, hit that like button. Maybe hit the subscribe button. It's free of charge. Um, it's, it's good energy. It's positivity. It's good uh, karma. It'll come back to you. This is what I mainly want you guys to do right now, guys. I want you to drop a comment. I want you to show some love. I want you to spam some ones. I want you to get some people in here for your boy. Show some love. We're going to be blessing some people here in a minute, guys. We're going to do a coin drop. When I get to 130 subscribers, we're going to do a coin drop, guys. We're going to bless somebody with 10,000 pesos. Does that sound good to y'all, guys? 10,000 pesos, guys. If you want a, a chance to win that, then hit the subscribe button, guys. So, uh, my boy Grizzly, he wanted me to do a knockout mode. That's what I'm going to do.
gonna do. Guys, when we, whenever we get to a thousand comments, I'm also gonna give away another a bonus prize of two thousand pesos, guys. So I'm telling you guys, once we get to a thousand comments, I'm giving away bonus pesos. Now the game's just being a little bit slow. It's all good. It's all good, guys. I'm gonna keep on pushing. Keep on trying to get in the fight. I hate whenever the game does this, man. There's 4,000 people online. Give me a fight. Give me a fight, man. Fuck. So I guess I'm going to go to fight now. See what happens in fight now. Someone's hacking me right now. It's all good. We're going to go to fight now, fellas. I appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. Hang in there with me for a few more moments, guys. Don't go anywhere. If you need to, go use the restroom. Get you something to drink. Come right back. I'm going to go to fight now. Quick fight. Thank you for your patience. Sorry that the game's like this. It's like this at late nights. Sometimes it's hard to get a fight. I would really love to just keep fighting championships, but... um. Looks like we're going to have to do a couple of quick fights real quick. I don't know why it's, it's like that, but it's like that. Another theory of mine is the fact that... uh, Yo, I'll have to dab while I'm waiting. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Another theory that I have is the fact that um, someone usually hacks me. If I get a, if I get a few viewers, someone gets jealous. They come, they slow down my IP address. They don't let me climb up the leaderboards. It's just some type of hack because uh, I know for a fact these other guys they're not having to sit around and wait for fucking ten minutes to get a damn fight. There's thirty five hundred people online. I'm number six in the whole world. Do your boy a favor and let me get a fight. You know what I mean? That's my theory. So now that we probably have about five people in the stream, they finally gave me a fight. So they waited for about half my viewers to leave before they finally give me a fight. So that's another theory. Is it's a hack. Like, because we, uh, before this, dude, we literally had about nine, ten people in here. We would have had 12, 13, 14, then 20 viewers. Every time I get 20 viewers, dude, I'm not even joking, some dumbass motherfucker that comes trolling through my shit, bro, he'll hack my internet address, and my stream always gets killed at 20 viewers. It's been happening for the past, I don't know, last 10 streams, I guess. Yeah, that happened too earlier, Seahawk Blue. I noticed that, bro. That's another Coming hack too, bro. It's a women's phantom weight matchup. There's somebody that keeps coming to my streams and, and they're acting real Rondo cool. They're acting like they're friends with me. But at the end of the day, they're just they're keeping an eye on me and they're hacking me. And uh, they're mad because uh taking too many viewers away from them and they're just kind of pissed off. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon. Like right now, it's pretty late, but here in about, I don't know, let's say 20 minutes. Notice how there's going to be about 20 people in my stream in about 20 to 30 minutes. And then chances are my stream will get just cut off. It'll just get disconnected. Promise you, bro. My shit will just get disconnected once we get about 20 viewers. So if you're tuning in and you're watching my stream, guys. Watch whenever we get to that 20 viewer mark. What, what, my stream will just die out of nowhere. I love you guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. 
We're going to be also giving away uh, 10,000 pesos, guys. We're going to bless somebody with 10,000 pesos. <laughs> Trying to get 100 comments, guys. We're uh, 13 comments away. Nice. Nice, Beth. Nice, Beth. There you go, Beth. There you go, Beth. Appreciate the love, Brandon. Appreciate that love, bro. I really do. <laughs> so I'm trying to give my opponent a chance. Obviously, I respect the person for even using a low rank character. Uh, so I'm just going to give my opponent as much respect as possible for now. Okay, respect's all out the door now, guys. Good game, my boy. Good game. Appreciate the love, bro. Appreciate the love. Appreciate that love, Thomas. I love you. I love you, Brandon Thomas. Appreciate the love, bro. Keep dropping them comments. Just get 100 comments, guys. Just don't hack me, please. That's all I'm asking. All I'm asking is don't hack me, bro, please. So, um, if did y'all enjoy that uh, Irish edition uh, fighting match, guys? If you haven't already, guys, go check out that um, video I dropped called the Irish edition. It had some of the greatest boxing matches you'll ever see in a UFC match, guys. I promise you that. Not only do I, I hold you to my word and I mean that, but, uh, yo, shout out Justin motherfucking Irving, guys. I love this guy. I love this guy. Let's go to Cialis latest. Try to get these extra points. Yo, Justin, man. I know you come to the stream all the time. I might have asked you this before, but where are you from, man? I'm going to give a shout out to your hometown, bro. I'm going to give a shout out to Justin Irvin, bro. We're going to drop a slow jam music. This one's for you, baby. It's a middleweight title. I love you. Between Chris, the All American Wide Men. And Talis Latish. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship. Shout out to my boy the Justin American Irvin, man, and anybody else joining the, the stream, guys. So Justin right. Irvin, he's from Texas, man. I tell you what, bud. I'm from Texas too, man. What side of Texas you from, bro? I'm from Houston. Chris Weidman. Talis And here we go. The middleweight title. Oh, okay. So we are fighting Cam the Man. All right, he's doing a lot of parries, guys. He's trying to parry. A lot of parries, guys. Get some uh, transitions on the ground. Shout out to my boy Justin. He says he's from Dallas, guys. <coughs> it's late as fuck in Texas, guys. It's 3 in the morning. Are you Division 7 yet? Bro, to be honest with you, I've had an Xbox One forever. I've been Division 8 for over a year now, but on this account, for PlayStation, I am Division 7, yes, I am. So right now, yo, shout out to anybody who just joined the stream, guys. Show some motherfucking love, guys. Drop a fucking comment. Hit that like button. I'm fighting Chris Weidman right now, guys. I'm in the blue corner. If you already hit that subscribe button, if you've already known what my streams are about, shout out to you, guys. For the guys who don't know me, by the, by the next five minutes, guys, you'll fucking know me, guys. You'll know everything about me. You'll know my grandmother's name. You'll know my mother's maiden name. You'll know my birthday, social security. You'll know everything about me, guys. Hit that subscribe button. When we get 130 subscribers, this is what I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna do a special coin drop, guys. We're gonna bless somebody with 10,000 pesos, and that's no bullshit, guys. 10,000 pesos. There we go. There we go, Chris. There we go, Chris. Do your thing, Chris. Do your thing. Do your thing, Chris. Yo, you funny as hell, bro. Alright, guys. We're good now. So, I'm uh, Tyler's latest. I'm the one that got rocked. If you didn't know, I was the one that did get rocked. Pretty sure I'm winning the fight, though. Beyond that. I do have the right combos that I need to get this W. Yeah, I'm definitely winning the fight right now. No doubt about that. Oh, he's really mixing things up well here. Oh. The first round is in the books. Yo, appreciate the love, Justin. Appreciate the love, guys. Let's try to get a thousand comments. This guy's number one bullshit. He's number one bullshit, I tell you. From Dragic, Russia. This guy Conor McGregor is bullshit. Number one bullshit. He's got to look out for those up kicks. Absolutely. Back up. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the box. Whiteman's bruise on his thigh is getting worse and worse. Yo, guys, if you haven't already, go check out some of my older videos, guys. I have a lot of good videos. We did a good boxing video, the Irish edition. We gave you our preview of the UFC 3 beta about a week ago. Go check those videos out, guys. Checked. If you're enjoying this video, hit that button, hit that like button, guys. Spam some ones, get some people in here. Excellent job blocking. Show some love. Hit it with a jab. Good exchange. Vicious leg kick from Wyman. Great punch by Wyman. Come on, pussy. So I'm fighting Chris Wyman right now. He's the best player in this division. I'm fighting with uh, some scrub ass dude. He's like a bonus fighter. We're getting extra points for using him. And uh, this dude's just getting his ass beat. This guy, Chris Wyman. Keeping it unpredictable. Big round kick. Solid jab. Man, he's using his jab. There you go, Chris. Keep blocking. So what I'm noticing about this guy, Chris Weidman, is he doesn't uh, keep his hands up. He, I mean, he doesn't like to block to the body is what I was going to say. So uh, we're going to see if we can expose this guy. Yeah, he doesn't block to the body very often, guys. So I was looking for that parry up top is what he's trying to do. He misses with the straight right. Good leg kick. Good checking there of that leg kick. Solid left. Tried to time a straight right. So what I like to do in these situations when I'm winning a fight is I like to let my opponent overextend. And then I, I usually counter after he overextends. But um, also with the way he's parrying, I'm going to start marking 30 seconds off the clock for every parry. Especially when I'm winning the rounds, like right there. I'm not going to start fighting until about the 10 second mark, guys. Since I'm winning, like, you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. So he's Chris Weidman. I'm in the blue corner. I'm the champ. Incredible highlights in that round. 
Smoking some bomb as a weed. Feeling crucial. Can play it a player. Joe was coming off a pretty good round. It'd be great to see more of the same as the fight continues. Decent action in that last round. And yes, I would like to see more of the same in this match. G Day, mate. Shout out to my boy October Legend, guys. This is a uh, birthday today, guys. More great kicks from him here. Oh, no, Ryan. He said it's a good day, mate. My bad. I said that last time, I think. Shout out to our October legend, man. Good day to you, too, mate. It's actually 3 in the morning where I'm at. Where me and Justin are at. But uh, shout out to uh, my boy October legend. He's from the UK, guys. So right here, you want to fake the trip. You want to hit him with the elbow, then the knee. See what I'm saying? Fake the trip. Throw the elbow, hit him with the knee. Game over. Perfectly placed strike to end the fight. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. Boom. And here we see the spectacular bomb that he Nice, guys. Nice. Appreciate the love, guys. The speed so anytime you have your st uh, opponent stunned, if you're just tuning lands, in, my trick is I put him against the cage. Take a look at this I fake a trip. Angle. I hit him with an elbow. Then I hit him with a knee. And uh, my boy decision. from his is from Australia. Shout out to the Aussies, man. Stand up. So I just got 16 points, guys. 16 points. Not bad, guys. Yo, um. I'm gonna have to do an uh, an all, all Aussie episode, guys. I'm gonna have to fight with all the Australian fighters. We just did a Irish fight yesterday, guys. We did an all Irish episode. What we did is we were fighting with all the Irish people. My stream fucked up at the end. I didn't get the Conor McGregor fight. So, uh. I'm gonna do like an all Brazil, uh, a Brazil episode. I'm gonna do a uh, uh, an Australian episode. We're gonna do an American episode. We're gonna do a Netherlands episode, a Mexico episode. He's gonna be off the hook, guys. I'm gonna try to drop as many um, episodes as I can as quick as possible before someone else tries to take my idea. But uh, it'll be a great, there'll be great episodes. It'll be like 20, 30 minute clips, maybe an hour long at the most. Check them out, guys. Go check out the uh, Irish episode if you haven't already. Sorry if it's taking a, a bit to get a fight. It's 3 in the morning where I'm at. There's only 3,000 people online, so it's going to take a little bit longer than normal to get a fight in ranked. If anybody has the game, they know that this happens quite often as well um, if I had to guess so uh, let me know in the comments if this happens to you do you ever have to wait a couple times to find a fight let me know in the comments guys so because um, because my phone died in the last episode and I didn't get to show you our Conor McGregor this is a tribute to Conor McGregor right now Shout out to Connor. He watches my channel. When he gets a chance, he uh, he's not subscribed or anything, but he does keep up with my channel. Shout out to Connor, guys. We're going to use him. Coming up next. All right. It is our main event of the Looks like we're fighting the MMA the pro. Notorious McGregor. And Conor McGregor. Our so, um, if this guy's nickname is MMA Pro, let's just see if he Conor can take his McGregor. IQ into the game. Conor see McGregor. if he's any good at games. Alright. Leg kicks. He's trying to uh, parry to the body. Make no mistake about it. Conor McGregor is for real. Leg kicks. Superman. Yo, guys, I'm in the blue corner, by the way. If you're just tuning in, you're trying to figure out who I am, 
90% of the time, y'all know I'm in the blue corner. So, uh, it's gonna be an easy fight. This guy's blocking a lot of stuff. I'm gonna expose that. I'm gonna take advantage of everything he's doing. See that parry? So this guy just let me know everything he got, guys. We know how to, uh, we know what we're gonna do in the grappling aspect. He likes to parry, he likes the leg kicks, he likes kicks all together. He's gonna use his jab a lot. We got something for this guy. Okay, now he's trying to uh, use a side step. Let me show him how to do it. He's landing some beautiful kicks here on his combination by the champion. Okay, he's not really blocking to the body. I kind of noticed that right away. Whenever I first started opening up. These are some absolutely brutal kicks to the body by McGregor. Perfect. So anytime you get near the cage, you have low stamina. You're gonna want to uh, also pay attention to the clinch with this guy. He's trying to use his distance. Distance management, not too bad. It's a five rounder. Good kick by McGregor. Inside leg kick. Nice kicks. So um. All right. What this guy's doing trying right now is he's trying to play the counter game, but he's also trying to uh, put a little bit of forward pressure as well. But he's down on the scorecard. He scores with the leg kick. So um. Excellent jab by McGregor. We're just gonna toy with this guy for a little bit until he really commits to doing something more than just playing around and fucking around. Inside leg kick so, uh, by we're gonna let him pop all these little bullshit. I'm gonna score a takedown before the round's up, of course. McGregor with the good kick to the let's go. Let's go ahead and get a knockdown too, as well. Joe, that was well done, blocking the punch. Okay, perfect. This was on forward pressure now. Okay. Starts off with the body kick usually. Body, body, head, head, head. Yeah. He missed on that jab. Okay. See if we can get a knockdown, guys. Nice. Impressive. Impressive. So what I noticed is his body. His body. You see that? His body's been wide open this whole fight, guys. I'm going to show respect. I'm going to let him up, guys. He's an MMA pro. You know, I don't want this guy roid raging or nothing. Um, shout out to MMA pro, guys. Conor McGregor's lucky he survived. He was just saved by the bell. He's Yo, guys, if you're just tuning in, we're fighting a real MMA mixed martial arts professional right now guys. I'm in the blue corner What I was saying is this guy is probably a decent fighter in real life He's just having fun right now But I was seeing if uh, maybe these guys could bring their fight IQ into a video game, but they got to get good at the game first, you know Drop a comment, guys, if you uh, train mixed martial arts. And does that help you in the video game? Does video games help you become a better mixed martial artist altogether? Drop some comments. Let me know what you guys' opinion is. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. You see how I show respect when I knock the dude down? He's trying to take my head off. But it's all good. It's all good, guys. His body's there. His body's there, guys. Yo, shout out to my boy Ganesh Zufa, guys. Appreciate the love, man. Nice. Body, body, head, head. He usually starts off with the body, then he goes to the head a few times. I've never seen him open up and throw a combo to the body yet, guys. Usually a one strike to the body, and that's it. See if he changes something up here in a minute. And a big leg kick. He's been really effective with his jab. Okay. Playing very scared. He's afraid to come forward. I'm taking octagon control. He's fucking up his accuracy. He's uh, he's not really doing much, guys. Every time I come forward, he runs. But yeah, my accuracy is there. His isn't. Nice. Now he's opening up. I'm in his head. He's mad. Now he's fighting angry, guys. Now he's angry. He's 
pop the jab. Just push him back a little bit. Push him back. Don't go too far. See? Don't go too far. You don't want to cross that black line, guys. When your opponent goes into the corner, try not to cross that black line too much until the stamina is drained. Okay. We're winning the round. This guy will get desperate eventually, guys. I promise. He'll start overextending more and more as the rounds go later and later. Back and forth battle. You see? You see he's overextending a little bit more every every 30 seconds I would say he's extending more and more, guys. Good uppercut. And another strike land. Okay, we're just gonna grind this 30 seconds out. We'll let him do whatever he wants to do. 20 seconds left. Tying him up here in the Okay, we spin out. You throw a knee. You're off the cage. Spinning kick. Perfect. Alright, so um this is a really good fight. It's a great fight. Possible it could go to decision. It just depends on if this guy grows a pair of nuts or not. If he does, he's gonna get knocked out. I'm in the blue corner as always. I'm the champ. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Go check out that Irish edition episode I did, guys. I did a great Irish episode yesterday. We're gonna uh we're gonna do a Brazil episode today, guys. All Brazilian fighters. Good game, my boy. Good game. Go to Lax Switch Killer, subscribe, please. What power that guy has in his hands. Yo, y'all didn't hear it, but it sounded like that guy started throwing shit around his house. I'm not even joking. I heard this guy just start slamming shit in his house, throwing shit around, no bullshit. That was crazy. Once again, here's our fight replay. And let's take a look at the Bruce. Yeah, Gilbert, Ganesha. Uh, I decision. know he was trying to time me. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario. Sanders. But the fact that uh, I'm not going to overcommit if I'm winning the round. So it's going to be very hard to time me, bro. But I get what he was trying to do. Ganesh Zufa. That's a pretty cool name, dude. I have a I have a really good buddy from back in the day, man. He has his own band. They're called Ganesha. Like basically your first name on your YouTube account, but you just add an A to it. Ganesha. I think that's the name of their band. Pretty sure. Good guys, man. Good people. Yo, guys, if you're just tuning in, I'm number six in the whole world. Um, it's about 3.30 in the morning where I'm at now. We are going to try to keep on getting fights, but during the late hours of the night, it is a little bit harder to get fights, so bear with me. Um, if you see it's taking a while... But you're enjoying the fights, just go use the restroom, grab something to drink, go grab you a bag of chips or something, get you something out the fridge, make a sandwich, come back. When we get 130 subscribers, guys, this is what we're going to do. We're going to bless somebody. We're going to give out 10,000 pesos, guys. That's right. You heard me right. We're going to give out 10,000 pesos. So um, hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that like button. For every thousand comments, we're also going to give a bonus prize of 1,000 pesos as well. So, uh, basically bear with me until we get these fights going, guys. This one looks promising. It looks like it's going to show up. Come on, come on, please. There's 3,500 people online, guys. 3,500 Drop a comment, dude. Do y'all have the same problem when there's barely any people online? Is it hard to get a fight? I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, guys. This makes me mad. Hopefully, when I come back, it'll be a fight.
be right back. Let's see what happens. Does anybody else have this problem whenever it's just uh, not that many people online? Is it hard to get a fight? Let me know in the comments, guys. I'd say for the last five fights, I've had to wait a while just to get one. I got me something out the fridge. I'm gonna go grab me some more stick cheese real quick. Grab a piece of stick cheese real quick. Some milk. Still trying to get a fight, fellas. Hang in there with me to all my true subs. Where? Sorry that the game takes forever sometimes. Fuck. But uh, appreciate all the luck, guys. I really do. Right, there's no more cheese in the fucking fridge, guys. I'm kind of bummed out about that. So, if this doesn't work, I'll, I'm going to apologize, first of all. I really do. I apologize for having you, making y'all sit here, wait, whatever. I'm going to go try a quick fight real quick. Let's try one quick fight. If that doesn't work, I don't blame you if you go to someone else's stream. Shit, I would have done the same thing by now. Let's check out a quick fight, see if anything's popping. If you do go to another session, you want to go check out someone else's stream, just come back to mine, guys. I'll be back. On, I'll be on here. I'm going to keep on searching and keep searching, guys. So if you check out somebody else's shit, come back to mine, guys. All that is going to do is increase my view ratings. So I appreciate the love. Here we go. Now we got the fight. Let's use, um... Yeah, let's use this dude here. Yeah, Rodriguez. Holy shit, guys. This is going to be a battle. This is going to be a fucking battle here, guys. I like that Taekwondo level 4. That means when my head kicks come in, my body kicks come in, they're going to hit hard. I have a more I have a more Muay Thai based style. It's a match of a but when the timing's right, I do open up with a lot of taekwondo. Skills in this battle between Frankie, the answer Edgar, and Yair, El Pintera Rodriguez. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight showdown. Edgar. This milk is delicious, guys. You guys go grab your nice tall glass of milk. Frankie Edgar. Which is delicious. Tastes sweet go. for me. Interesting matchup here, Jay. Will they try to go for the submission or will they choose to stand and strike? Yo, let's, tra let's trade and bang, dude. Let's stand and bang for the viewers, please. We're fighting uh, Beholder. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Hopefully I pronounced that right, guys. He's able to block the punch. These guys are going at it here right away. Trading blows. There we go. I knew one of those was coming. I knew that was coming, guys. Timing with the left hand. He's in half guard here. I guess this guy saw the fight. He thought he was going to come in and do the same thing to me. 
Wrong fucking thought, buddy. Wrong fucking thought. Wrong fucking thought, buddy. In the clinch. We're gonna take him down again. Good fucking shit. Good fucking shit. Just over three now. So I'm Yair Rodriguez. I'm in the blue corner. I'm in the blue gloves. I'm, I'm actually in the red corner right now. But uh, I do have the blue gloves on. I'm just trying to check out his kicks. See what's in his arsenal. He got some pretty cool shit going on. Beautiful up kick. It's pretty cool, guys. This guy here. Another cleanly executed takedown for Frankie Edwards. Absolutely, Joe. His takedowns have been outstanding. So I'm just getting used to the guy. Got to get used to all his moves to see if he has. I know he's pretty good at submissions as well. No, they didn't give him a submission there. I know he has a decent submission game, guys. Frankie Edgar looking to set up a takedown. Nice leg kick by Rodriguez. Doubled up the jab. See if we have a standard body kick. There it is. Now we can use our Muay Thai a little bit better. Start using our Muay Thai. These guys are trading strikes here. Big combination. See, one thing about Yair that I just noticed, this guy has no takedown defense. That guy took me down no problem at whatsoever. 30 seconds. There was no lag. It was just a clean. I even, I know I'm defending it. You know what I mean? The fact that uh, Yair Rodriguez just has no uh, Final seconds of the no takedown defense, guys, at all. At all. When I say none, I mean none. It's all good, though. That just means I'm going to have to uh, score a few takedowns myself. And then... Uh, and here's another amazing highlight from that round. Maybe keep it standing after that. As we get set for round two. The fact that this isn't even ranked, I'm not really too worried about it. This is just a little quick match. I was taking a break from ranked because they wouldn't let me find a fight, so I'm just in quick match real quick. It's not really a big deal if I win or lose. It's all fun and games, so fuck it. Um, I really wish my opponent would try to stand a little bit more and realize it's just fucking for fun, but whatever. Uh, I want to get back to rank, so let me get a couple fights in rank. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Good shit, Frankie. Good shit, Frankie. You're good. Perfect. Get the submission. Oh, looking for his back. Perfect, Frankie. Oh, he connected with an elbow. Half guard. Perfect, Frankie. You're working good, Frankie. You're working, Frankie. He's going after an arm. He's controlling the forearm. Swing and a miss. Joey did a nice job blocking that punch. Come on, Frankie. And looking for the takedown again. Come on, Frankie. Let's see if we can and get a takedown he here. Out. He's in a great position now with double underhooks. Joey, another takedown. I'm telling you, this guy has no takedown defense, guys, at all. Against Frankie. There's no way. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. Back to half guard now. Ninety seconds now on the clock. 
Okay. Back to over under. Looking for the single. Great movement on the ground. And he lands the punch. Spins around, gets the back. Joey's looking for some control here. He's got double underhooks. He's got over under. 30 seconds remain in the round. Yeah, so Yara Rodriguez, man, he doesn't really have a takedown defense, guys. At all. I'm number six in the whole world, guys. I'm, I have like a 90% takedown defense. I can't defend nothing. Frank Yeager is overpowered, guys. He's very overpowered. Shout out to anybody who's tuning in. We're in a fight, a fight now. Ranked was acting up. They were being a little bit slow. Appreciate all the love, guys. Hit that like button. See that shit right there? I can't defend nothing, guys. Let's see what we can do, though, guys. Let's see what we can do, guys. He passes again in the half guard. Alright. Now we might be working with something. Now he's gonna grind it out here. Okay. Strong elbow from the bottom by Edgar. Edgar is cut. Nicely done. Stand it back up, see if we can get maybe a knockdown or something. Good roundhouse kick to the midsection. There you go, Frankie. This guy has really good stand-up. I'm surprised he keeps going to the ground. To be honest with you. I'm very surprised he's standing. He's not standing up because he's very good at standing up. You see that? Look at those combos this guy throws. Incredible. There we go. That's what we're looking for, guys. Good game, my boy. Good game, my boy. He's going to the left. Good game, my boy. He's got the hooks in. There we go. Really good movement on the ground. Oh, he's got his ass back. Let's see what he can do from here. There we go, my boy. Back up again. His stand up is very good, guys. Surprised he's uh, going to the ground. That are very, very effective. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Doing an excellent job of mixing up his strikes here. Man, Joe, he is being. See, his stand up is good, guys. Very good stand up, guys. Come on, let's go, boy. Just missed with that huge kick. Nice jab. There you go. There you go, Frankie. You're doing your thing, Frankie. He's a tie terror, guys. He's a tie terror, guys. Oh, there we go. We stole that decision, guys. <laughs> if I didn't do that stupid ass carbo kick at the very end of that fucking combo, it would have been a finish for sure. Yeah, Air Rodriguez has no ground and pound. That's a dominant position. Frank Yeager, I don't know how they let him survive that, but whatever. Let's keep going. Appreciate the love, guys. Hit that like button if you haven't already, guys. So we're gonna go check out what rank I am in the whole world. I'm gonna show off my rank for a minute. Let y'all know who y'all are watching for a minute. For the guys who don't know, 
I am ranked number six in the whole world. I'll be number five here in just a second, and we'll just keep going and keep going. Let's go to fight now. Let's go back to the ranked championships real quick. Yeah, uh, Ganesha Zufa, he did overcommit, bro. That's how I knocked him out. He overcommitted. He, he overextended, and then boom, I lit him up with a Muay Thai combo. All right, let's keep it. Let's keep it going, guys. So this goes out to my boy Josh from Australia. We're gonna bring out the Australian uh, shovel hooks, guys. We're gonna bring out these Australian shovels right here. Shout out to my boy. Uh, I think his name is Josh. Let me see. No, Justin. No. October. Shout out to my boy October Legend, guys. This, this fight's for you, bro. I love you. Coming up next, Sakuraba. Alright. So we're fighting Saka fucking Raba. This guy's gonna get us to the, He's gonna try as hard as he can to get us to the ground, guys. As hard as he can. So my job in this fight is to prevent the takedown, prevent the clinch, keep it standing. Let's stand and bang. Let's try to knock this guy's head off. Alright. Let's get it, guys. Appreciate the love, Sakuraba. So I'm in the blue corner. I'm the champ. Fighting Sakuraba. Ooh, so he does have these Australian shovels, guys. Fucking Whitaker's. Oh my god, guys. If you never use Whitaker, his stand up is on point, guys. This guy's flowing. I like Whitaker. He feels good. He feels real good. Yeah. Oh my god, guys. OMG. This guy, Whitaker, guys. I gotta get some water too in a minute. My, my mouth is dry as fuck. Very good. Yeah, dude, Whitaker's stand-up is on point, guys. Wow, this guy's a beast. I might use him a couple more fights after this. Dude, are you serious? I'm loving Whitaker right now, guys. I really am. Yeah, dude, Whitaker's a fucking stand-up artist, guys. This guy here. Wow, dude. This motherfucker Whitaker, bro. I feel you, bro. He's fast for a middleweight. He used to fight welterweight, guys. He moved up to wit oh, to middleweight. So this motherfucker is fast, guys. His hands are fucking crazy. No joke. This guy's hand speed is off the charts, guys. His kicks, they're smooth. Stand up is very, very smooth, guys. I'm gonna hop off his dig real quick, but I'm gonna get back to the fight. Try him out if you haven't already. Okay. You gotta watch out for Sakuraba. He can submit you from pretty much everywhere. Big roundhouse kick. Very legit. Whitaker with a punch to connect. Yeah, dude, this guy, um, uh, this guy fucking Whitaker, guys, y'all gotta try him, man. You really do. Go try out Robert Whitaker, guys. Oh, okay. Okay. Sakuraba working the body, guys. Working that body. Working away at the body. Let's see if we can do the same thing. Great defense as he blocks that body shot. There we go, guys. Now we're working. Now we're working, guys. Thank you, Ganesh. Thank you. Yo, if you're just tuning in, guys, I was fucking around and ranked. I was uh, trying Robert Whitaker nice for my boy October Legend. He's from Australia. 
This guy's a great fighter, man. Great and fighter. Here's another kick to the body. <clears throat> Stand up's on point. Some real. I love you guys, man. Thank you for this tuning in, man. Appreciate it. So I have no complaints right now about Whitaker. His kicks are super fast. His punches are very fluid. He has a lot of power, a lot of good combos. His footwork is impeccable. I have no complaints right now about this guy Whitaker, man. His his ratings doesn't say he's this good. If you look at his stats, it doesn't. You wouldn't think he was this good, to be honest with you. Joe, you can hear Faraz Sahabi in his corner telling him to stay busy. Whitaker with a good connection. Let's try to soften his body up a little bit. Another clean shot to the body. Try to soften his body up, guys. Good job. Short uppercut. Good knee to the body by Sakuraba. Okay. So I don't want to take him down, mainly because his submission game is probably going to be decent, if I had to guess. Oh, again. And another strike line. Kind of mad, guys, because it was a hack. I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm not gonna tell y'all what happened, but that was a hack. It was a glitch. I know how to. Uh, he basically used his stamina. You can't defend after you use your stamina. So what he did was a hack. Top of that, I kept blocking this clinch. I really don't know how he even fucking got me into it. Fucking piss. I'm gonna go use Robert Whitaker again. But this time we're going to fight more like a pussy. We're going to try to take it to decision. And we're going to watch the clinches a lot more, watch the takedowns a lot more. Because I try to keep it interesting for the few people who are watching. But uh, now that I lost one finally, I got to take my pussiness to a whole nother level. I literally have to try to win 10 fights in a row by decision. I'm not going to look for a knockout. I'm not going to come forward one time. We're just going to be very passive. And since that's how everybody seems to want to play these days. Um, my problem is, dude, ever since I started YouTubing and giving people, like, just putting on fights for the people, um, I'm starting to lose more fights because I come forward a lot more. I try to keep it interesting so people don't leave the stream. But I will start taking it to the decision every single fight if I have to. Because I'm not going to put my record on the line. <clears throat> so, uh... Let's go with uh, CM Punk. We're gonna go to decision. No, I'm not gonna even risk that coming off a loss like that. Let's go with Robbie Lawler. Just to try to bully my next opponent and beat the shit out of him. Fucking pissed off. Stupid ass fucking game cheats and shit. So this is what we're gonna do. I guess we're going to pick the most OP fighters on every single weight class. The best fighters for every single weight class. We're going to try to go decision no matter what. We're not looking for a knockout. We're just going to try to win by decision, guys. So hang in there with me. The fights are going to be a little bit longer. A lot more technical. So, enjoy. George St. Pierre. Robbie Lawler. And here we go. Alright, sorry for the leg kick. Perfect. We're winning. Be very patient now, guys. We're fighting like a pussy. Head kick. Perfect. We're about two points. Two to zero. Perfect. His accuracy's off. Mine's 100%. Okay. He has no head kicks. Perfect. 
We're gonna keep backing up, backing up, backing up. We circle back to the middle of the cage, let them overextend. We block all the clinches, we block all the takedowns. Just play like a pussy, guys. That's what we're gonna do right now. I promise you. And he's looking for that left. Nice overhand left by Lawler. Okay. Just gonna keep playing very passive. We're gonna look to counter. Look for the clinch, look for the takedown. When he overextends. That's when we'll look to uh, open up and hit that straight left again. Left into the Nice kicks. Good defense. Great counter by GSP. Nice. He avoids the clinch again. Great jab by CCA. They are exchanging here, Mike. Nice hand. He scores with a nasty inside. Nice. Leg kick. George St. Pierre with another vicious leg kick. So I'm just giving this guy a chance to kind of open up. I want to see his combos too at the same time. I want to see his go to moves, shit like that. Vicious combination. I want to see what the guy got. He's looking for a clinch. Oh, he missed that kick. Looking for a takedown. He wants to grapple, guys. It's been a two and a half minute mark. He just missed. He wants to switch it up right. from standing. He wants to go to the grappling aspect now. He realize if he keeps standing, he'll probably get knocked out. Or high chances are he's just gonna lose by decision, guys. By so Huge kick to the head keep legs. doing our thing. We're winning the round, guys. Solid shot to the body. Oh, he's landing at will. So there you go. The game was trying to help this guy out there. They act like I've never defended a takedown before. No big deal. Right back up. So that doesn't even really count. It's not even going to be on the scoreboards at all. Okay, perfect. Should have been a knockdown, but fuck it. Looking for the big finishing punch. See, how do I stop that one, but I don't stop the other one? You know what I mean? It's all good, though. Fuck it. The game wasn't fuck me over, I understand. Too good for everybody. All right. Let's keep on pushing, baby. Let's get it. I'm Robbie Lawler. I'm in the blue corner, guys. Round two now underway. Okay. Such a long journey for Robbie Lawler, and in so many ways, he is so much better than ever. Yeah. He, of course, lived in Iowa for years. Remember, guys, we're looking for the decision win here, guys. We don't really want a knockout. But his takedown defense has really improved dramatically since he went. The reason why we don't want a knockout is because we don't want to risk uh, the game trying to fuck, fuck us over. It's not because I'm going to make a mistake, it's because the game's going to give mistake away see like right there we're just winning the round we're gonna pull back our combos we're gonna run waste the clock we're gonna manage the clock we won their last round we're winning this round here let's try to waste as much clock as possible guys solid straight left guys Man, he the type of missed. fight we want right here we're gonna watch the clinch we're gonna watch the takedown good connection with the straight by st pierre oh! all right that's it guys this might be it i'm gonna jump on him here oh. Oh, big right hand i'm not even gonna take a chance with this let's just keep it standing Oh, 
okay? We're just getting a little wild, a little crazy. Okay. I actually blocked that. That's what we were talking about earlier. The game is weird. They don't really have a consecutive block. You're not really going to be able to. They just give away takedowns every now and then, guys. It's weird as fuck. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's keep butchering them up. Let's just keep butchering this guy. We got 30 seconds. Man, those body shots have been lethal. Look at the bruising on his right side. Probably gonna go the opposite way this time. Man, he's really doing some damage with those elbows. He postures up and lands a big shot to the body. Perfect. We won the round. With another shot from the top. They have fought for 10 minutes. That's the end of round number two. Here's a vicious kick that results. So guys, I'm Robbie Lawler. I'm in the blue corner. I don't know if this is a five rounder or a three rounder. We're about to find out right now. If it's a five rounder, I'm gonna watch my stamina a little bit more. Five minutes remains. So it's three rounds, guys. I'm not worried about my stamina at all. It's just gonna be a good fight, that's all. So did you notice how I jumped back and then jumped forward? I didn't actually do that. So that was a CPU assisted block on my end. And uh, I was just wondering how many times my opponent got a CPU assisted block as well. Because I don't really need the CPU to assist me. You know what I mean? I don't need the CPU to assist me. Crucifix. Okay, we're back up. We pop right back up. Now we're just going to win decision, guys. I think I'm trying too hard for that knockout. We're going to sit back. We're going to uh, go decision, guys. we got three and a half minutes to use our footwork. Let's see what we can do with three and a half minutes, guys. Getting off these shots. He slips and rips. See what we can do with three three minutes, guys. Tags him. Oh, nice uppercut. Good shit. Good shit. Oh, again. Wow. Solid jab. Okay. Like I said, how come I couldn't block the other ones earlier? I don't like that. Big swing and a miss. He was a strong jab. Here you go, George. He did a nice job blocking the head kick. Good punch. Useless body kick by Robbie Ball. All the chance of GSP. Timing his strikes nicely. Big shot with the straight. He just missed with the right. There we go, guys. Good game, my boy. Good game. Good fucking game, my boy. Huge right hand shot that got him the victory. Good fucking game, guys. Good fucking game. That was nasty. It's the nasty. This is the shot that drops him. It's the nasty. He's clear with the official decision. Here's Bruce. Perfect. That was a good game, guys. That was a great game. I love that. Let's go to the next fight. Good game. Appreciate that, Ganesh. Appreciate that, bro. Sorry it took a little bit longer than usual. I want a first-round knockout always, but... Sometimes if you're looking for that first round knockout, you might get knocked out of your damn self, so. Pretty sure you know that already. Let's just keep getting OP players. We're trying to get the best player every single time. We're not trying to give our opponent any chances. We're basically going to take our knowledge from the movies Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2. And we're not going to give our opponent any chances, guys. We're going to... Play with these guys like I'm a fucking master, like I'm a fucking sensei or something. And I'm just toying with my people, guys, and sending them back to the drawing boards with fucking 
broken arms and broken faces and shit. Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Conor McGregor. I'm literally looking to crush my and enemies right now, guys. For this featherweight there will showdown. be no flame left by the time I crush my McGregor enemies. is two inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Okay, I'm trying to skip it. My opponent will not skip it. Trying to skip it now. So what I'm gonna do to use this time right now, I'm gonna actually uh guess roll one up. It's almost 420 where I'm at. It's 410. Since my opponent doesn't want to skip it, I guess I'll roll one up. Nice guys, we're fighting Bruce Lee. Yo, what up, respect? What's happening, baby? What's fucking happening, buddy? This is gonna be a good fight, guys. Don't go anywhere. Can y'all imagine if Bruce Lee was alive somewhere to this day? You think he'd be playing the video game? Yo, guys, I'm telling you, it's 420 where I'm at right now. It's 408. So I'm going to be uh, taking my time through the replays and shit. And I'm going to try to have something rolled up within the next 10 minutes so I can smoke. And did y'all know that when Bruce Lee died, y'all know how much weed he had in his stomach? It was insane, guys. He used to be a DJ and all types of shit. Go look up your Bruce Lee facts. So what I noticed about this Bruce Lee is he's a headhunter, guys. See that? He's head hunting, guys. It's gonna get him into a lot of trouble. Man, this is such a good fucking match right here, guys. I love Conor McGregor versus Bruce Lee. They're both just so fucking. They look so good on the game, these two. In the ring together like this. Looks like an amazing fight. Good defense. Nice block. Got hit with a left. Good combination there. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Okay. Body kick, look at that. Oh, that new would have knocked me down. I got so lucky there, guys. I got really lucky. They said he used to chew weed. That's funny, dude. I kind of do the same thing sometimes. That's weed. That's weird, I mean. I hate doing my boy Bruce like this, man. And uh, I actually need to pay and uh, unlock all these characters, Bruce Lee and stuff, Mike Tyson, all these guys. Come on, pussy. They said he used to chew weed on the rail. I bet, dude, it tastes so fucking good, dude, just smelling it, man. When you got some good shit, bro, it makes you want to chew the shit out of it. It makes you just want to eat it. I'm telling you, bro. Oh, big body kick. Oh, beautiful combination. He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. He's hurt. Huge kick lands the body. So I feel bad for this guy. I'm just going to go ahead and break his ribs next time I get a chance. He's not putting his hands down. He's not showing respect. So I'm just going to knock him out, guys. Solid shot to the body. Good to know you, Bruce. Oh, big kicks. They're scoring. Good to know you, Bruce. He's gonna knock him out in the body, guys. He's not protecting that body. Quick jab connects. These are some absolutely brutal kicks to the body by McGregor. Joe, you're absolutely right. The kicks to the body, significant muscle. Conor McGregor is pouring it on. A very high volume of strikes in this fight. Nice, Bruce. Nice. Nice jab. Perfect. So, guys, if you're just tuning in, we were talking about how I'm going to start trying to win by decision. I'm not going to really look for knockouts anymore. That's a 10-8 round there. Um, 
here in a minute we're not even going to be chasing the guy anymore we're going to let him run as much as he wants and then uh we're just going to sit back and win i'm about to smoke anyway it's gonna be a perfect game to sit back smoke let the guy run can light my cigarettes up you know it's a perfect game for that so if it's 420 where you're at guys i'm in texas right now it's 420. shout out to my boy justin he's into uh, dallas i'm in houston um yeah guys put your lighters up man get your papers out round two all right big uppercut blocked by mcgregor Those body shots. Why no bong? Right Honestly, bro, because I grew up smoking blunts, and that's what I like to smoke. I like to smoke blunts. I like to roll shit up. So I'm just going to take the center of the octagon and let my opponent come to me. I'm not really going to go anywhere else. It's right here in the middle. If he wants to run, he can be my guest. Good connection with the strike. I need to roll up anyway. He avoided damage blocking the big kick. So if he keeps blocking that body, guys, watch what I'm gonna do. Misses with the head kick. Head kick. Nicely done. Looking for the single. Let's just hold him down now. Since he wanted to run. We'll get some arm bar attempts. Let's make sure we're winning the round. Let's make sure our opponent will come forward. Quit running so much. He's got the arm here. Now he's gonna throw his leg over. That arm looks locked to me. Sorry, Bruce. I love you. Throw the leg over the face. Oh, he escaped. Very nice escape. All right. So that just stole the round away. Now our opponent has to come forward, or he for he's just basically giving up. So. We're just going to chill. I'm going to put my back to the cage. And I'm going to let my opponent just come to me, guys. We're going to stand here the whole fight. Yep. We're not going anywhere. We're going to put our back to the cage and just stand here. The fight's over. I already won. If he wants to stand there, I'm going to start breaking up my weed. I have five minutes to smoke. So, uh... I'm going to use this time to just roll up some weed, guys. I'm going to stand right here. We already won the fight. This is two rounds, eight to ten. I'm going to do the same thing in the next round, guys. We're going to put our back to the cage. Under a minute now. Especially if I don't have my shit rolled up yet. We're just going to chill, guys. Appreciate the love, guys. Appreciate the love. We've got some time to work here. 45 seconds. Appreciate all the love, guys. So there's 30 seconds left. I'm winning the round, obviously. 20 seconds. Uh, I'm just breaking up weed, no big deal. Okay, perfect. Let's check out some of the action from that round. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's see this again. And let's look at that again from another angle. So on this next round, guys, we're just going to leave our back to the fence. And we're going to force our opponent to come forward. If he wants to stand back and not do anything, that's cool with me. I don't really care. So really not. <clears throat> Third and so uh, let's just keep doing our thing, guys. Back to the cage. We're winning both rounds. Yo, what up, Jay? Where are you from, Ganesha? Where are you from, bro? Nice kick. Nice kick, Bruce. Keep it up, buddy. 
Keep up the kicks, Bruce. Tries a flying punch there you go. Doesn't quite connect. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. As we track the fight, we see the number of total strikes left. And there's another brutal head kick. Joe, this is exactly what we have been talking about. Nice. There you go, Bruce. Keep it up. Conor McGregor continues to be extremely there you go. There you go, Bruce. with his strikes. Can't stop Connor's kicks. They too that strong. Kick to the body was Come on, Bruce. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's fight. There you go. There you go, Bruce. There you go, Bruce. Keep doing your thing, Bruce. Keep doing your thing, Bruce. He's got him hurt. Keep doing your thing, baby. Let's go. Come to daddy. So I'm not really trying to win by knockout, guys. I'm just trying to get this decision win. I'm trying to ensure victory. Nice, there you go, Bruce. There you go, Bruce. See, I'm just gonna stand here now, guys. We're not even gonna do anything. We're just standing here. He's too afraid to commit, guys. He really is. There's another good kick. See that? He's afraid he's losing. Nice kick, Bruce. Nice kick. There you go, Bruce. There you go, Bruce. Look at that. Oh, my. This could be it right here. 45 seconds. There you go, Bruce. Oh, head kick. 30 seconds. There you go, Bruce. Over the toe. Big kick. There you go, Bruce. Head kick. He connects with the left. Finally, he got something. So, I won the fight, guys. It was a fun fight. Joe, the judges have rendered their decision. Fun well, fucking fight. It's 420 where I'm at now, guys. Luckily for me. I can roll up a fucking blunt in like less than 30 seconds. And if I'm a little bit late by a minute or two, who cares? Let's smoke, Jake. What you smoking on, boy? What you smoking on, my boy? You smoking on that fake shit, bro? You smoking on that good, good, bro? Let me know, Jake, in the comment, bro. I love you. Yo, I'm starting to think that Jake got that South Africa, but here it's 420 all the time. Ganesh. Listen, buddy, I'm I'm from Jamaica, buddy. I'm right next to the beach. I live right next to the beach, buddy. I'm from Jamaica. We got that good shit, buddy. I'm not from South Africa, buddy. I'm from Jamaica. I'm right next to the beach, buddy. Right next to the beach.
Yo guys, what other games do y'all play, buddy? Buddy, number one bullshit, buddy. <laughs> I was fucking around, Ganesh. I'm from Texas, bro. I'm beach, bro. <laughs> Fuck the beach, bro. The beaches in Texas are horrible, bro. Can't even see the fucking water. I'd rather go to Galveston or wherever the fuck. Melvin! Melvin! Don't hack me, please. I love you. I love you, Melvin. Just don't hack me, buddy. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Nice, bro. Impressive. Impressive, Ganesh. Impressive, buddy. You say you're from South Africa, bud? From the motherland? Shout out to Ganesh, man. He's from South Africa, buddy. If you're just tuning in, guys, I apologize for the wait. Looks like I might have to go do another quick match real quick. Because they're not giving me a ranked fight. So hold your fucking horses, guys. Hold your fucking horses. Go use the restroom. Go get you something to drink. Go refuel. Do what you got to do, guys. I'm going to go to quick fight. I'm gonna go take another piss real quick because I'm drinking a shit ton of water. I gotta piss like every fucking 30 minutes. So, uh, let's get a fight going first. Yo, and if you haven't already, guys, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on this video. Go hit a couple like buttons on my other videos. Yesterday, dude, we did this sick-ass Irish edition episode. We only fought with the Irishmen from every single weight class. We used every single Irish person you could think of. And we fucking went undefeated, guys. It was nuts. Great fights. Some of the best knockouts I've ever seen. Go check out the video, guys. It's called Lag Switch Irish Edition was dedicated to only the Irish people. Shout out to Ireland. We're going to do another episode too, guys. We're going to do a lot of new episodes. We're going to do an all-Brazilian episode. We're going to do an all-American episode. We are going to do um, Netherlands, Mexico. We're going to do a lot of different episodes, guys. Hang in with me. I'm in the restroom. I don't know what happened. I heard the game fuck up. Give me about two minutes. I'm really thinking about playing some ultimate team. Sounds pretty fun. Let's just wait. I gotta, I'm coming back now. Let's see what happens. Okay. okay let's search for session. Boom. All right, guys. I'm back. I'm back in black. Like two flats on the Cadillac. EA told me they won't let you play ranked. <laughs> very fucking funny, bro. Very, very funny. You're a funny guy, man, I tell you. Real fucking original, Melvin. Real fucking original, buddy. You come up with that on your own? Yeah, motherfucker. Huh? Enjoying Nayo as well. I don't know what that means, buddy. Really don't. Either way, guys, it's 425, 426. <sighs> I'm just taking off. We just have liftoff. Sparking it up as we speak. This right here that I'm smoking on is Acapulco Gold. You're looking at about $500 an ounce just to smoke this shit that I'm smoking right now. I'm from Texas, so the prices are a little bit higher. This shit that I'm smoking right now, guys, is Acapulco Gold. I'm telling you, bro. 
I'm gonna get so fucking blitzed right now, bro. It's not even fucking funny. UT is pay to win, bro. I know you fucking millionaire, but that's not fun for others. I'm not a millionaire, bro. I'm really not, bro. I'm broke as fuck right now. Dutch weed, b best, bro. Amnesia haze, it's called. Amnesia haze, bro. That sounds like some shit I want to smoke, bro. Just the name, bro. I'm just imagining smelling it. Some of the best smelling weed I've ever had, believe it or not. We call it blue cheese, bro. Have you ever been to Cali smoke some Cali buds? No, bro. I'm just sarcastic. Why you know me, bro? Yo, I've had some shit uh, shipped in from Cali and smoked some of that shit. But I've never had it fresh, bro. I've never actually Coming been to Cali. Up next, it's a lightweight matchup between Smooth Benson Henderson and I heard it's nice out there, though, guys. ADA. I heard it's really nice in Cali. I'm have to go visit one day, guys. For this lightweight fight, Henderson is two years his elder. Diaz is three inches taller. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions. <coughs> <coughs> There's some good shit right here, guys. Shit tastes so fucking good. Man. Benson Henderson. Nate Diaz. And so I'm Nate Diaz. I'm in the blue corner. I'll be fighting Benson Henderson. It looks like it's going to be a stand-up fight because uh, nine times out of ten, Benson Henderson fighters, they want to uh, stand up. They want to brawl. But if he wants to go to the ground, we can do that too, guys. Nice. So what I'm noticing about my opponent is he likes to parry. Yeah, my opponent loves to parry, guys. I'm Nate Diaz, guys. There he goes. Oh, oh, he's landed some good shots here. Powerful strikes. Oh, stunning jab. Oh, beautiful hook. Oh, he's landing with Will. Big kick just missed. Diaz with a strong kick. Under three on the clock, round one. Doing a good job with his strike. Big punch. Strong knee to the body by Henderson. Beautiful jab. Wow. Big straight punch. Powerful kick. Strong jab. Body kick, look at that. Good game, my boy. Good fucking game, boy. I softened him up with that stock and slap, bro. I was softening him up. Just getting him real soft. I was slapping him. Slap. That slap actually works, bro. You soften him up with that slap. That ain't no bitch ass slap, though. It's a stock to slap, bro. Shit will knock you out, bro. I still haven't knocked anybody out with a stock and slap, but I want to one day. really do I want to hit somebody with that Stockton slap and just knock them out bro I've seen it only on one fucking clip on YouTube that's it might have patched that I'm not sure yeah we got our beaches our blondes and our buds <coughs> Sounds like the life, man. It really does, bro. Sounds like the fucking life, bro. Let's go ahead and run with Nate Diaz again. I felt really good with him on that fight. 
Let's get another Nate Diaz fight. Yo, uh, show some love, guys. Y'all spam some ones. Get some more people up in this bitch. Let's get the 200 comments. <laughs> this is some good shit, man. Coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Connor, notorious McGregor, and former top contender. It's gonna be a good fight. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight collision. McGregor is 27. Diaz is 30. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Connor McGregor. Are you ready? Nate Diaz. Are you ready? South Park and South Park. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. There you go, Connor. Keep it up. Big straight punch. We got ourselves a fight. A nice one two with the right and the left. Oh, big power with that. Oh, he got hurt back. Oh, combination. Beautiful body shot there, too. That's a big punch from the clinch. Vicious combination. Yes. I gotta go turn my AC on, bro. This shit got me hot as fuck. I'm gonna turn my AC on in a second, guys. Looking for the big finishing punch. Oh, he's landing it well. Whoa, he got hot. Wow. All right, perfect. Choking, bro. God damn. Here's a devastating need. Some good fucking shit, bro. I don't know what's down. better, the fight or the weed. I really don't. Here we see a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. The beautiful Ariani. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. You ready? You ready? Round two is underway. He's definitely 
really going to want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Good kicks by McGregor. Big kick just missed. His other eye is starting to swell bad. But <coughs> oh, he lands the roundhouse for the body. Look at this. Nice job blocking the kick. Excellent jab by Diaz. Huge kick misses. Good right left combo by Nate. We go inside the numbers and we see the total strikes land. Straight punch. He scores Perfect. with the knee. But Gregor with a good connection. So that's a good fight, guys. He's a good Connor McGregor. He's really mixing. He's a good Connor. Give him that. his jab very well. Nice. Good punch by Nate. He slips the punch. Nice hook to the body by Good Nate. Good body shot there. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. Nice knee inside. Punishing knees. He got hit with the left hook. We're just gonna eat him up in the clinch as much as possible. Y'all gotta remember, I am smoking right now, guys. That's why I'm a little bit more quiet. Just chilling, having fun, playing the game. Solid jab. Body kick, look at that. I'm in the blue corner. I'm Nate Diaz. Shit, Connor. Good shit. That's a huge uppercut. Good shit, Connor. Big shot. I like that. Good shit, Connor. There's a hard shot with the left. Oh, he tagged him. This could be it. Oh, that looked at damage. Hard straight punch. Big punches. with the huge kick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Three. Man, this is not good. Connor and Gregor's eyes have started this All right. They look really so we're back now. I just finished smoking. We're ready to go. We're ready to rock. We're ready to get a knockout now, guys. I can play with two hands now instead of just one. Let's go. Let's get this knockout. Swelling on his eyes is starting to get really bad. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. McGregor with the block. Ripped that hook to the body. Connor McGregor with some body shots. Whoa! Shit, Connor. Keep spamming. Oh, that's Keep spamming, kick. baby. Keep spamming. Strong jab. Keep spamming, baby. Left. There you go, Connor. Oh, there's a nice combination. Big shots. Hard. Hey, got right oh, to the top. Hey, nice uppercut. Look at that. Wow.
Nice, Connor. Good shape. Man, he just missed. Solid shot to the body. There you go, Connor. There you go, Connor. Big straight punch. Powerful jab. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. Oh, another one. That hurt him. What an exchange here. Hard kick lands. Yo, this guy's a pussy, guys. I'm trying to give y'all a knockout. He just keeps running. I'm Nate, guys, if you're wondering. Great spinning back kick to the bottom. Oh, he missed that kick. Slips and rips. Solid jab. Tries a flying Big wow. shot. Hard straight punch. Whoa. There you go. Too bad the fight's over, buddy. Hard timing punch. He's in full guard here. Hey, go the distance. There we go. Versatility. Good game. Good game. Absolutely. He had more weapons, more at Let's find out who has won this fight. That was a good fucking game, guys. Good fucking fight. Good fucking fight. Great fucking fight. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I'm going to roll up another one, too. Because I smoke two joints in the morning. I smoke two joints at night. I smoke two joints when I play video games. It makes me feel all right. I smoke two joints once I'm at peace. Into in time of war, I smoke two joints when I smoke two joints, and then I smoke two more. It's that good shit, man. This that good shit, man. This not that number one bullshit. This isn't the number one bullshit that Karbim Norman Gorimera of Russia and weed. That's bullshit. That's number one bullshit. You want the good shit? You come to Jamaica, man. You want the good shit? You come to Jamaica, buddy. It's fire. It's that thing, baby. It's that thing, baby. It's that fire, baby. You know? You know, baby? It's from the N.O., baby. It's from the N.O., baby. New Orleans, baby. You ever been to New Orleans, baby? We got that good shit, yeah. I tell you, baby. Oh, you better watch that thing, yeah, baby. We got that good shit, yeah. We've been to the boot, baby. Hey, guys, do me a favor. Drop a fucking comment, guys. Drop a fucking comment. Appreciate the love, guys. Appreciate the love. I really do. I appreciate all the likes. Yo, if you haven't already, guys, can you go like that? Uh, Can you hit that like button, guys? And if you're just tuning in, guys, I appreciate all the love, guys. I really do. 
Appreciate all the love. All the support, guys. Y'all guys support me more than a jock strap. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So this is what I'm going to do for all my guys that subscribe. Show love. I'm going to do a coin drop here in a minute, guys. That means we're going to give out 10,000 pesos. So... At 254 pounds. That sounds good he with you. Seven inch Hit that like, guys. Bruce Buff. Fabricio Verdun. Stephen Struve. <coughs> yeah. Stephen Struve. You fucking right he is, bro. I love Stephen Struve. Fabricio Verdun. to look out for are his takedowns. He wants to grab a hold of his opponent and bring this fight into his world. I love Stephen Struve, bro. Push kick. <laughs> and he lands the punch. Nice, oh, nice. nice kick. Nice lag issues, Fabricio. Keep it up, buddy. Nice lag, Fabricio. Tying him up here in the clinch. Good job, Fabricio. He's got a nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. Verdun with a solid knee to the body. There you go. Keep that lag up, Fabricio. Nice front kick to the body. So I'm Stephen Shrove. I'm in the blue corner as always. He was looking for the head kick, but it was um, Fabrizio Verdun wants to look for a counter punch when he's losing, and he also wants to look for the clinch, guys. So. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. Verdun gets caught by that kick to the body. Very desperate. He's down on the scorecards, guys. He's looking for the clinch, looking for the takedown. He's waiting for me to strike first, but here's the deal, guys. I'm winning. Nice kicks. Under two. Perfect. We're winning, guys. I'm Stefan Struve. Hard leg kick from Fabricio Verdun. We're not even gonna try to knock this dude out. We're gonna try to get a decision win, guys. He avoids the clinch again. We're going to try to get a decision win, guys. If you're just tuning in, I'm Stephen Shrove. I'm in the blue corner. We're, ve we're playing very patient, very slow, very technical. We're watching the clinch. We're watching the takedown. We're, win we're winning the stand-up. He scores with a nasty inside late kick. 20 seconds okay. now. We're going to slow it down. We're going to conserve our energy. There's 15 seconds left. Good defense for now. Okay, perfect. Here's a perfect kick to the body. Yo, guys, appreciate that love, man. Thank you for hitting that like button, guys. I appreciate that, man. I really do. I really do. And yes, respect. This is my favorite fighter, guys. Here's a powerful head kick at Lance. Yo, and also, guys, I think I'm a. Uh, I need like two more subscribers to hit the uh, hit my goal. So if you haven't already, I think I need two more subscribers, guys. Show some love, man. Hit that subscribe button. Drop some comments as well, guys. Appreciate it all. Thank you, respect. Round two. So that was a good round. Let's see if the fighters can. Alright, we're gonna watch the clinch. We're gonna watch the takedown. Oh, now there's a nice leg kick. There's the jab. Man, the damage to his thigh is so excessive. I don't know how much longer he's right. stay in this fight. Good I'm gonna keep watching the clinch, guys. Nice. Straight left to the 
keep moving our feet, use our footwork. And here we can see the number of total strikes landed. Okay, we're gonna spin out right away. Use that whip. First thing you wanna do, always test your whip out. It's a good way to escape the clinch. If you don't wanna be there. I don't mind being there, it's just, I wanna make the guy work for it, that's all. Hit him with the jab. Good exchange back and forth here. Solid kick by Strew. Basically, I can tell my opponent wants the clinch really, really bad. I could probably out clinch him if I tried, if I really wanted to. He avoids the clinch. I would just rather have him work for the clinch since he wants it so bad. And he in the meantime, the just keep doing my thing on my feet. And just keep winning. See what I'm saying? Just watch the clinch. His, his stand up isn't really there. So we're mainly focused on backpedaling, using our footwork, side to side, side to side, being unpredictable. If it's there, you take it. But uh, you just want to watch the clinch mainly. Watch the takedown. Do the no flinch drill. Just don't flinch. Don't panic. Be calm. You'll see everything. Boom. When he overextends, you just hit him. Okay, perfect. Always whip out. Just whip out right away. Try to use that whip as much as possible. Make him respect the whip, guys. Looking for the clinch. Okay. Fake this. Fake the takedown. He fell for it. Watch for Bracel's full guard. Watch for Bracel's full guard, and you're up. Okay. Now you're back up. Fabricio has that full guard technique, guys. You gotta watch for that right away. Okay. Perfect. Head kick. Perfect. Body kick. Body kick. Okay, we're winning. We're gonna cool off now, guys. We're gonna waste this whole 50 seconds. We're gonna use our footwork. We're gonna wait. We're gonna fight like Mayweather, guys. We gotta keep our eye on the clock. We gotta uh we gotta use our footwork for this last 30 seconds, guys. It's a footwork drill. You can use your jab. Use your jab. You can use a leg kick. Try to use your footwork, though. You got 20 seconds, 15 seconds. Wait for the next round, guys. Save your energy. It's a five-rounder. Yo, guys, if you're just tuning in, I'm Stefan Struve. Uh, hit that like button, guys. Do your boy a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, guys. All right. So I'm definitely going to use my reach against this guy. You have to respect this clinch. You have to respect his takedowns. We don't really know what he's doing yet in the clinch because he hasn't really done anything. He grabbed me two times, but he just got whipped out both times, guys. So uh, we don't really know what his clinch game is like. And then, of course, the third time I took him down. So uh, we don't really know what the hell he's trying to do in the clinch yet. He's being unpredictable, that's for sure, and that is important. Okay, use our reach. We're gonna use our reach, guys. Switch it up, go to the head. Oh, okay, trip. Nice. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. You're gonna fake. Oh, okay. I went for the fake, but I got lucky with the arm trap. You fake it. Okay, he's gonna go top mount. Okay, watch your body. Check your body here. Okay. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Okay. Hip escape. Let's go full, full guard. And into the guard. Okay, we're back up, guys. We're back up. Okay, yeah, we're not up. Okay, we are up. Let's go. Okay, we're not up. And right back to side. Now we're up, guys. Let's go. No, we're not up. He's looking for the inverted triangle from side control. Okay. He's got nope, he lost it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we can do. Okay, my hand slipped. My hand slipped, guys. My hand slipped, fellas. And we're back up, guys. We're back up on our feet. Let's go. We're already winning two rounds. I'm not gonna get too uh too excited. 
this round, this is a still a long round. He's gonna have to show more than that. Keep using your whip, always whip out. First things first, whip out. Okay, fake this. Okay, whip out. Okay. Okay. Tries for a low single. I blocked that, but it's all good. No big deal. Finally lands the takedown that he's been looking for throughout the fight. Look at that eye, man. That is a mess. I'm gonna stack guard. Oh, big right hand flipped him. We're back up. So this guy finally won one round. We're gonna give it to him. We're gonna say he won. But the round one and round two was eight to ten. I actually beat this guy eight to ten in round one and round two. So this guy is down by uh, four points on the judge's scorecard. Ten seconds. So um, I got two rounds of this work. That's the end of round three. And we are headed to the I'm gonna go take a piss. I'm gonna grab some water during the replays. I advise you to do the same. I'm gonna go grab some more water real quick. And here we see Try to take a quick piss if I can. Here's a powerful head kick it's five in the morning. I'm over here in Texas. Drop a comment, man. Let me know where you're from, guys. I don't have time to use the restroom. Guess I'm gonna have to wait on that. All right, back to the fight, guys. I'm Stefan Shrew. Okay, we're gonna watch the clinch. That's all we're gonna do the whole fight, guys. We're just gonna watch the clinch. When he overextends, we're gonna hit him. I'm not worried about a stand up at all, guys. At all. We're just gonna watch the clinch this whole fight. I'm from the EA office. <laughs> Shout out Melvin from the EA office, guys. I love you. Look at the number of body strikes landed here. Stephen Strews done an outstanding job of mixing up his okay. strikes and punishing the mid I almost thought they were going to give that to him, honestly. To get that clinch. I knew I blocked it. I just. I don't know. The game's weird. So I'm Stephen Strews. We already won one's, uh, round one and round two. And we won by 8 to 10 rounds in each of those. We're winning round 4 right now. That's all we need to get this fight done. Right now we're watching the clinch. We're waiting for our opponent to overextend. And we're looking to uh, defend the clinch. That's pretty much it, guys. Easy fight. Easy fight. Watch the takedown. He's trying to mix it up. He can hear me as well. He knows the game plan. It doesn't matter. It's all good. Let's see what he can do. He hasn't done nothing yet, guys. We haven't seen him do anything yet, guys. So, he's doing a great job of moving. Wait, and see what he can do. Here on the ground. He's back in the full guard now. Just over two remain. Okay, we're back up. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Very good shot. He He's not doing anything. Beautiful body shot there too. He's looking past here, Joe. Side control. Nicely done. Yeah, I'm watching his stamina. He has a really glitchy uh see that right there? That's just good ground. He's really glitchy, this guy. Yo, what up, Matista? Shout to out to my boy, Matista, bro. What up? All right, we're still winning the round, guys. We're still winning. Still winning the round, guys. That huge head kick was blocked. Again, he shoots for a takedown. Joe, those are some good kicks by Strew. That's a pretty We're definitely winning the round, guys. And oh, the jam. 
All right, we won that round. What's up? I'm a slash and gash and tear another hole in your ass. I'm a play tennis with your balls. Tremendously now, guys. We're winning really, really bad right now, guys. Mike Goldberg should be telling y'all here in a minute what's going on. He's in a better position here with the tie clinch. There we go. Separate. There you see a sizable advantage in total strikes landing. Stephen Strews really taking it to his opponent. Nice knee to the body. Okay. Strews with a keep to the body. The bruise on his torso is getting bad. They keep lagging this guy out to help him out, but it's all good, baby boy. It's not a big deal. He's posturing up here. Now he's stacking him. Three minutes left in the fight. He moves to stacking him now. Good elbow by Virgil. Oh, nice elbow again. Joe, he's landing here on top. Man, those elbows have been dangerous. Virgil gets it back to side control. All right, we're winning, guys. We won the fight. with the darts. He's got it sunk in. Could he pull it off right here? Secures his body. All right. Darts is deep and he that should secure the victory for us, guys, if I just survive. Inside control here. If I can just survive, that should be victory, guys. Yeah, we won. Beautifully executed sweep. Perfect, guys. We won. Hit the takedown just to ensure the victory. And right into the Muay Thai clinch. Good takedown defense. Great okay. kick for the takedown. Look at this, he went for a darts. And he pops out of the darts. All right, yeah, we won, guys. We won. Yeah, we won. And this fight is over. This championship battle. Wow. Goes the distance. It's crazy. The judges nice way to lag out and get that win, guys. If you're watching the stream and you uh, think you're good, nice lag, guys. I got to give it to you. I mean, if you really want to beat me, guys, that's how you're going to beat me. You're going to get that lag, guys. And Hey, get that lag, guys. Here comes the trolls now. Like I said, guys, find a guy who's decent. When I, if he can beat me, I go, man, this guy's good. I want to find one guy that can beat me, and I go, man, he's fucking good. I want to learn from this guy. Haven't found it yet. Haven't found it, guys. I'm still looking for it. Can I uh get one fucking good fight with no lag? Come on, uh, Melvin, you work for EA, bro. Ask the EA Sports guys, man. Fix my account, man. Get rid of that lag. Hey, guys, don't hack my session, okay? 
We should have, be having a lot of viewers here, all right, in just a minute, guys. I know you just woke up. You're just getting your coffee. Don't hack my session, please, all right? Heavyweight class. Let's check that out. I wish I sucked at the game so I could uh, get a little bit of lag too, man. I wish that lag would help me out, but I'm too damn good. So lag just goes against me. I really wish I sucked though, man. Hope y'all got just coffee today, guys. I really do. I'll let them know, buddy. I'll let them know. I'll let them know, buddy. No problem. So as you can see now, I'm being hacked. Not only did I lose a fight from lag, but now they won't let me get a fight. All right, I'll let them know for you, buddy. What's up, my boy? What up, Alex, man? Shout out to Alex, bro. What you up to, man? Let's see if we can get a quick fight going on. Appreciate the love, Dino. Appreciate the love, my boy. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love, Dino. So, um, appreciate Dino, man. Earlier, guys, Dino, Dino donated one hundred dollars, guys. Dino actually uh, donated one hundred dollars today, guys. Yo, bro, I am number six in the whole world right now, Alex. I'm probably number five right now. I think I'm number five in the whole world. Shout out to Dinosaur. Yo, y'all go check out Dino's Barber, guys. If you want to learn how to uh, fuck your hairline up, shout out Dino, bro. He has a nice barber. Go fuck your hairline up, bro. You'll be looking like LeBron James by the end of the day. Guaranteed. We're going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with the Australian again. Robert Whitaker. Yo, shout out to everybody who's just joining in, joining the stream. My apologies if the stream does get hacked and gets disconnected. Usually around the time that I get 20 viewers in the party, I usually get hacked. And then uh, you're wondering what the fuck happened. That's just because we got haters, guys, and uh, I'm used to it. So I appreciate the, all the love. Y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. 
for this middle I am going to be using uh Robert Whitaker. He's an Australian fighter. He fights kangaroos in his spare time. It's actually how he got really good at his stand up and his kicks. Bruce Buffer. But just ahead of time, guys, just to apologize ahead of time. Usually when I get 20 viewers, guys, that's the number we're looking for. That's when my stream will get killed. That's when I'll get hacked. Um, so enjoy, guys. That should be in the next five minutes. This might be the last fight y'all get to see. I love you. I love you. Hey, Mikey. I love you. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He's at 60 foot of time. He's at 185 pounds. This is my stream now. Shout out to the guy who thinks it's his stream now. How did the action begin? I would say in charge of Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. So I'm sparking up a blunt. This is my 200th blunt of the day. Prime time. Robert Whitaker. And here we go. Fight scheduled for three. We're fighting uh, prime time Lowy. Let's look at the name. New Breed. Whoever the fuck New Breed is. The, no the thing I noticed about this guy I'm fighting right now, he has no technique, guys. So for those of you who are watching, I'm in the blue corner. My opponent has no technique, guys. I can just tell right off the back. Yeah. He has no technique in his jab. His hook is all over the place. Perfect, guys. This guy needs to go back to the drawing board, work on his jab, work on his overhand. Nice. Nice fucking job, Brody. There you go, buddy. Now you're talking. Now you're talking, buddy. Come on, pussy. So right now. <coughs> so right now we are fighting uh, a created fighter. He's a decent fighter. He just has no. Uh, he has no technique, guys. This guy I'm fighting now. His jab's all over the place, guys. He doesn't know when to throw it. What a jab. I think he's actually cockeyed my opponent. I love you, Mikey. So we're fighting a created fighter right now. Dude has a hunter chin, hunter body, hunter health, hunter punch, hunter everything. But what he doesn't have, he doesn't have the skill, he doesn't have the heart, he doesn't have the will to win. And that's where we're gonna expose this guy. No, I'm not going to do it, CD. You're going to tell me what to do? I'm not going to do it, buddy. You're not going to sit here and tell me what to fucking do, bud. No one's done it before. They're not going to do it now, buddy. The champ is not here, buddy. Hard straight punch. That's a big right hand. 
Nice, nice. Oh, he's going for it here. Great left by Primetime. Back and forth. Nice. There you go, Primetime. Whitaker gets caught by the inside leg kick. Nice slip. Good takedown defense. Back to his feet. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Here's a nice takedown. He's got some time to work here. 45 Appreciate seconds. the love, guys. Appreciate the love. Prime time's got him in the tight clinch again. Appreciate and the love, guys. Prime time gets hit with that body kick. So uh, right now I'm using Robert Whitaker. We're fighting a created fighter. I'm in the blue corner as always. If you want to check out my other fights, go check them out online. You can always run the video back. If you need a shout out, I'll shout you out. If you need a... We're actually going to be giving a drop here in a minute, guys. Final seconds of the round. We're going to be doing a coin drop, guys. We're going to be giving out 10,000 pesos, guys. Robert Whitaker is really starting to bleed. His nose is really damaged. That is not a good injury right there on the nose like that. And hopefully it's not impeding him from being able to breathe through his nose. And here's a nice shot. You're really good, man. And here's another clean, some really well-placed strikes on display in that round. The beautiful Brittany. You ready? You ready? Round two, here we go. Now starting off this round, he's got to think that the barrage that he endured... Yo, appreciate all the love, guys. Appreciate all the love. Appreciate all the comments. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. <laughs> nice roundhouse kick to the body. Good job blocking the punch. Whitaker gets caught by the right kick. This stream is a fan of me. Landing is Man, Joe, he is being very effective with his kick. To the body. Another solid kick to the body by Primetime. Tagged him. Oh, that's a huge kick. Oh, so there we go, guys. That's what we were looking for. That's what we were looking for, guys. I'm trying to smoke guys. I'm playing with one hand. Sometimes these guys will get a takedown on me because I'm trying to bleed. I'm bringing the I'm basically bringing the blunt up to my mouth and that's in my right hand so that will uh, prevent me from doing the takedown, doing the clinch every now and then. Usually when I'm backing up, just chilling, I'm usually smoking on the blunt. Like in between the hits, I actually Chill and just kind of smoke. Oh, head kick. Big combination. Nice yeah. shot. Nice. There we go. Bomb ass up. <laughs> Yo, I was in the blue corner, by the way, guys. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take another look at the huge roundhouse kick that ended this fight. As soon as it lands, this contest is over. We can see it from Appreciate the likes, angle. guys. I really Look do. Look at the power in this roundhouse kick. And when it lands, the fight is done. And Man, that was a nasty again. knockout. Boom. Bam. Out cold. Bruce Buffer has the...
official decision. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I love you, Sid Free. I love you. <coughs> I love you. So right now I am ranked number six in the whole world. We are going to get up to number five here in just a minute, guys. So bear with me. I love you. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. Yo, shout out to Sid Yee, bro. He said he finally got a win, guys. He says he's been playing for about a year now. He said he finally got one, guys. Shout out to my boy Sid Yee. I love you. Appreciate the love, guys. Appreciate the love. Leave me alone. Happy birthday. Shout out to Sid Yee. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sid Yee. We love you. Let's try to get to 420 comments, guys. So. I love you guys. I love you. I love you guys, man. Yo, so I might go back to fight now. If it doesn't want to work, I guess I'll go back to fight now. No problemo. Yeah, we're going to go to fight now. We're going to try to get another fight. Let's go to quick fight. Anybody want to fight in Rivals? Send me a Rivals request, guys. Guys, uh, if you want to get a Rivals going on, send, send a Rivals, guys. Machiavelli says knockout mode. Shout out to Machiavelli, guys. Tupac's in the building. Let's go with Anthony Rumble Johnson, guys. It's been a while since I used... Nah, let's go with uh, Rampage motherfucking Jackson. I'm going to use Rampage Jackson, guys. Here we go. This will be a good fucking fight right here. I love you, Biz Bing. All right, let's get it, guys. Let's try to get a thousand comments. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love, guys. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Johnson is 32. Jackson is 36. Johnson is one inch taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. And with the official. Yo, let's skip it. Come on, let's skip it. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is for rounds of the UFC. So my opponent wants to check out the bodies. Rampage is looking kind of husky. All right, let's get it. I'm in the blue corner, guys, as always. Let's get it. Okay. Body shot. Okay. Nice. Nice body shot. Big straight punch. 
Nice. Man, he just missed. Oh, nice combination. Strong jab. There we go. Yo, if you're just tuning in, guys, I'm in the blue corner. I am Rampage Jackson. Swinging early, both men. There we go. Good shit, good shit. There you go. Good shit. He hurt him with that hook. He connects with the left. Vicious combat. There you go. There you go, Rumble. Keep doing your thing, Rumble. Just over three now. Every shot he throws, he's looking to KO you. Let's go. I'm in the blue corner, guys. If you're just tuning in. Great utilization of the jab. Oh, good connection by both. There we go. Joey's looking for an opening for that hook again. There it is again. There's some guys that just have a hole in their game for one particular technique. They make the bulletproof. There we go. You know, you, you try one thing on him and it just works over and over again. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. Hit him with the jab. He landed a couple good shots here. Oh, and another damaging hook. Great job. Good combinations landing here. That connected. Good fucking fight. Good fucking good fight. Good left combination. There we go. Like go, Rumble. Get you a couple in there. Get you a couple in there, Rumble. Get you a couple in there, Rumble. Slips and rips. Big connection. Get you a couple in there, Rumble. Good game, my boy. He hurt him with that punch in the clinch. There we go, let's go. That's a beautiful hook. hook. Nice jab. Oh, and another oh. jab. Wow. You gotta hurt that. He has a huge elbow to the head. Here we go, guys. Big elbow smash. Oh. Good fucking game. Oh fucking game. Beautiful knockout victory right as the round was ending. <coughs> Let's check out the action on our fight replay. Let's take another look at that fight. Good fucking game, guys. I love Rampage's overhands, bro. If you time it right, it will knock you fucking senseless. Let's get back to ranked. Let's see if we can get a ranked match going on. There's, five, there's about 5,000. There's a little over 4,000 people, guys. And I'm trying to get a ranked match. They won't help it. Oh, here we go. Finally. All right, guys. Let's go with Anthony Pettis. Feeling it. I feel like using Anthony Pettis, guys. I'm just in the mood. I never really use Anthony Pettis, but I'm just, I just—I feel like using him right now. I like his kicks; they're very powerful. He has quick hands. Coming up next, it's a lightweight battle Good fighter. between Donald Cowboy Cerrone and Anthony Showtime Pettis. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Cerrone is three years his age. All right, he is the Naga Champ. The reach is identical. And with the official Cowboy introductions, Cerrone. here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division. Introducing first. All right, let's get it, guys. I'm ready to fight. Donald Cerrone. Here we go. Anthony Pettis. Guys, if you haven't already, go hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. There 
There we go. I'm in the blue corner, guys. I'm Anthony Pettis. So I'm going to keep pushing my opponent forward. When he goes, uh, put his back to the cage. I'm not going to commit too far. I'm not going to pass that black line right there. Let's say about right here. Keep my distance. Then he'll come back to me. He's landing some great kicks here. Oh, big kick. There we go. Anthony Pettis is nice, guys. Anthony Pettis is really nice. Yo, guys, if you're just tuning in, guys, uh, I'm in the blue corner, guys. I'm Anthony Pettis. Appreciate the love, guys. I really do. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna let him up, guys. Show some respect. I'm gonna let him up. Yo, guys, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, guys. Appreciate it. Alright. Oh, okay. Nice, cowboy. Nice. Nice, cowboy. Here we go. So Anthony Pettis doesn't have a whip. I was trying to whip out of the clinch. Anthony Pettis didn't have it. We'll see what happens in the later rounds and the later events. Alright, now he's fucked up. Okay. Okay. Oh, stunning jab. Big combination. Superman punch. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. So I am in the blue corner, guys. I am Anthony Pettis. Oh, that was a powerful kick to the body. Hard jab. We're playing ranked right now. I am number six in the whole world. We're just having to have, we're just having some fun right now, guys. I'm tired as hell. I'm high as hell. I have cotton mouth. It's all good though. If you're just tuning in, guys, I'm in the blue corner. I'm Anthony Pettis. That's game time, baby. Yo, guys, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, too. I'm in the blue corner. I'm Anthony Pettis. That was a double head kick knockdown. I thought it was over. I thought that should have been a walk-off, to be honest with you. Oh. Let's keep pushing, guys. Okay. Try to push our opponent up against the cage. Let's push him back. Okay. Nice. Nice. Good shit, Cowboy. Good for you. Good for fucking Cowboy. Good for fucking cowboy guys. Woo! Let's go, baby. Hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button too. I'll keep you updated with all the latest knockouts, guys. I'm number five in the whole world, guys. I'll show you that in a second. Time now for our fight replay. Anthony Pettis is nice, guys. He really is. Bruce Buffer. Nice, good fight. Good fucking fight. All right, check out my rankings, guys. This is what I'm ranked in the whole world. I'm number six at the moment. We're gonna keep pushing, guys. Trust me, we're good. Yo, if you're just tuning in, guys, 
Um, we're just climbing up the leaderboard, guys. That's it. Doing our thing. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Shout out to anybody who's tuned in, man. I love you guys. I love you. Yo, shout out to anybody who's just tuning in, guys. Shout out to anybody who's just tuning in. Guys, I'm two subscribers away from getting my goal for the day, guys. Can you help a brother out? Can you go hit that subscribe button, guys? We need one more like to hit 10 likes. Can you guys please... Shout out to Leroy. He says, good shit, bro. Leroy. I love you, Leroy. Leroy, I love you. Yo, guys, I need one more like to hit 10 likes, guys. Can you help me out, please? I think I need two more subscribers to hit that goal, too. I love you guys, okay, man? I love you. Let's see if we can get 10 likes, guys. I got nine at the moment. If you're watching from your PlayStation, if you're watching from your Xbox, go to the options menu. Go hit that like, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Appreciate the love, guys. We just got 10 likes. We just got 10 likes, guys. I appreciate the love. I really do. Let's spam some ones. Let's get some more people up in this biatch. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight showcase. So I'm guessing I am one subscriber. Ah man. Seven foot tall, native of the Netherlands. It's messed up, Dino. That's the guy about to earn a chance to win 10,000 pesos. <laughs> Respect says, yeah, hit that subscribe button to, uh, for our chance to win 10,000 pesos. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Respect, bro. Junior Dos Santos. <laughs> Someone's playing with the like buttons, guys. Someone's going like, this like, like, this like. It's fucking hilarious. Making me nervous, guys. Making me nervous. We're fucking around, guys. Please. Good jab. Yo, shout out to anybody who's just tuning in. I'm Stephen Strew. I'm in the blue corner as always. It's another fabulous day here in Texas, guys. It's hot, humid. Feels hot as fuck out there. We're going to be fighting with Stephen Strew right now using our distance, using our range. A lot of Muay Thai, a lot of jabbing. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. Um, just to show my love to all the people who are watching right now, guys, I just want to say I really appreciate your love. I respect that. This is what I'm going to do, guys. When I get one more subscriber, guys, we're one subscriber away from our goal. When we hit that goal, I'm going to be giving a big shout out to the next subscriber, and we're going to give away 12,000 pesos, guys. Can you believe it? 12,000 pesos. That's enough to get a couple of sodas, maybe get a sombrero. You know what I mean? Shout out, man. We need one more subscriber, guys. Yo, what up, Turpo? What up, Leroy? He says it's cold and wet in the UK. What part of the UK are you from, buddy? What part of the UK are you from, Leroy? Birmingham. Okay. Good round house Shout out to my boy Bruce second. Leroy. He's from Birmingham, guys. I heard there's a lot of bitches in Birmingham. Is this true? Yes or no? Okay, I'm in the blue corner, guys. I'm Stephen Struve. If you haven't already, guys, hit that like button. That's a nice 
punch by Strew. This is exactly what we thought the game plan would be. Punish the body with kicks. Okay, we're going to try to break his arm. Oh, looking for that uppercut. Almost landed it there. Yo, if you're just you're tuning in, very high I'm Stephen Shrew, guys. I'm in the blue corner. Connecting a lot of nice front kick. My mouth is dry as fuck. Super fucking tired. That's what happens when you're a gamer, guys. That's what happens. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Your loads of bitches and weed. Make it 13K, I'll throw a GM. Alright, man. Tell you what, bro, we're gonna give away 13,000 pesos, bro. How about that? I have my opponent trapped. He's trapped in the corner. He's using his footwork. Body's open. Yo, guys, I'm tired as fuck, guys. Sorry if I'm quiet. My mouth is dry, guys. I gotta find some breakfast. I gotta get some food in me in a minute. Might take a break. Showcasing the boxing skills of JBS. Oh man, his kicks have gotten lethal. There's a nice straight right hand. Oh, solid jab. Nice front to the body. Struve with a strong combination. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Dos Santos with a good connection. Nicely done. He slipped the punch. Man, he can't take too many of those punches. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Turpa, bro. I did bless that boy with a million dollar gift card. What did you get with that million dollars, Turp? The swelling in his eyes is starting to get worse. What did you end up getting, bro? Joe, this is an outstanding show. The ability to continue to fight at this aggressive pace is simply outstanding. Appreciate all the love, bro. I'm just too, super fucking tired, bro. He's definitely See? Ah! Fucking A. Fucking A. I was Junior Dos Santos, guys. I was Junior Dos Santos. Beautiful shot to end the fight here. Yo, guys, I appreciate all the love, guys. I mean, he make doubles, bro. Let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that here is Bruce. Hey, guys, I really do appreciate all your love. I really mean that, guys. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I'm blushing over here, guys. I'm gonna kill the stream guys hit that subscribe button for updates in the future Go check out some of my other videos. We just dropped a Irish edition uh, episode So uh, check out the thumbnails hit the link in the description Hit that subscribe button guys hit that uh, thumbs up. I Love you guys until the next time I Love you I'm out